The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. That's yeah, the thing. Please. You got to grow because there's six, four, six, five guards that's going at you. I mean, that's hungry. That didn't have a bottle. Are we on? Are we on? We're on. Um, I don't know. Where did this dude. Hey, man. I'm almost done. This dude eating. What is the world? Yeah, he's, well, he, he's on commercials. I, 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 he's on commercials. I don't care if he. Are you eating Popeyes? Popeyes? I should be. You should be. Nah, that Popeyes run is. Oh, hey, I'm Louis Dix. Um. TDP is coming. He's, Allegedly. Yeah, and Dan is eating. Jeff, uh, I'm getting rid of him. So um, I, apparently I feel it. And Speedy. Uh, but Jeff, we haven't, haven't contacted us in the two weeks, so I'm, not, I'm done being nice. He's got nice. a job, man. I'm not being nice. He's got anymore. a real job. No, he got his feelings hurt. You weren't here. He got oh, his okay. feelings hurt. He tried to call in mm. and tried to do a, a joke that was this week. And I, Ooh, I, I told him it was uh, weak. Uh, and he hung up. And then I haven't heard. That reminds me of a Michael Cole story. So have, he, have you done Michael's show? No. Why would I? Yeah, that's. Have you so, done his show? So, so I didn't know. I did. I get a call. Michael says, "Hey, man, you want to do my radio show?" I'm like, eh, "Sure, whatever." He says, "It's like seven in the morning." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I, I could do something tomorrow. I got to take my daughter to school, but I'll be up. No biggie." So, assistant calls me and goes, "Okay, cool. Just let you know what's going on. Uh, we're gonna call you, and we want you to do some stand up." I said, on the radio? They were like, yeah. And uh, we're going to critique it. And if it's not funny, we're going to go in on you. I said, uh, let me call Michael. So Michael calls me and I go, I said, what is this show about? He goes, yeah, we have the comedians come on. They tell jokes. And then we go in if it ain't funny. I, I said, I'm, this ain't my first day on the job. What, what are we doing? And I know he's probably taking jokes. So he'll take right. the premise. He's taking the premise and run with it. So I'm like, nah, Mike, I'm cool. So I, I, well, I didn't say no. I just was like, yeah, all right. So I hang up. They call me at 7 in the morning. I delete. Uh, man, I'm not going to do that bullshit. I'm going to get on there and tell a joke, and then you niggas going to go, well, that wasn't funny. Fuck out of here, man. I, 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 I mean, they Michael, I don't even get invited to his Christmas party. I've never been to his Christmas party. <laughs> I don't even know he had one. Yeah. Look I at did. that. So, yeah. I, I, matter of fact, I, I found that Dannon was invited to D.L. Ugly's party. Wow. And I Dan and Green? Yeah, and I don't really I've I talk every DL you and I, I didn't know he text knew every I text oh, him yeah, Happy yeah. Father's Day, Merry yeah, Christmas. Same and man, then I said, Hey man, I found I heard Dannon was, was invited. invited. <laughs> and he was like, Well, we're gonna remedy that. Don't put that up here. It's not a sponsor. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I love um, this you don't show. do that on an earthquake show. No, he doesn't. I don't they, know why. They supply food. I, have you done I don't know why they, you know what I'm saying? No. They supply food. But we, they don't pay you. So so just, yeah, yeah and you don't talk as much as you get to talk here. Oh, yes, I do. You no, know, you don't. What's up? And and um, and we've been trying to get rid of him forever. It's he just that. won't. He just yeah. won't go. And every time they get rid of me, I, I if want the gate just forward, open when you come to it. You can't I go stop to it. the front step and go. Eh, I mean, I don't. I, I just. I'm. Th- I'm hoping that Kevin Hart gives him a hilarious show. But uh, so Jeff, um, 
is, Godfrey is upset. No, I'm 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 done being nice. <laughs> you know, because people say I'm not nice. I told Lewis, I told boss lady. Huh? Have you met you? Why? <laughs> poet so, said so, I said I told poet today. Hilarious. I called her and I said, "Hey, I, I'm I'm done being nice." And she was like, "What'd you say to me?" She said, <laughs> "When did you start that?" I said, "You've never been nice, Lewis." So let me give backstory on Lewis Dick. Lewis has been you've been this way since I've known you, and I've I've learned to adjust. So the first time I met Lewis, which was with Fox, but well, I knew you then, but you know I introduced okay. you to Fox. He told Fox. You'd be a lot more funny if you had white shoes on. And Fox looked at me and I said, hey, man, that's Lewis. That's... And you see how that worked out. I mean, he's funny to me. <laughs> he put on some white sneaks and he's funny to me. But that, but that's been you all your life. I, I don't understand. You have never changed. I don't understand. It's not mean. It's just. No, but that's been you. Whether it's pe people look at it and go, is dude cool? I said, that's just Lewis. That's just what Lewis is. He going to tell you the real at all times. Like, you never sugarcoat anything. And that's what I try to tell the players and stuff at school. And then even the, the administrators at school, they say, so I'll go in there, I'm like, hey, man, you know, this diversity is not working. <laughs> and they look at me because they'll say something. I am the only African here. You know, I'm like, oh, man, this is DD, whatever that stuff is. Diversity, <laughs> diversity. inclusion, DEI. What does that mean? Diversity. Inclusion. In, in, equity, inclusion. Something means. like that. What does it mean? I don't know. Add something. more white people? What? No, I'm shit boss to look it up. And it is. So, um. So listen, uh, it is we're back, and I don't know how for some reason they say and they always say I hate on my show, this show. I don't. Lewis, you are Lewis all the time, bro. Like you don't have a different you. This is you. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I've been I went to therapy. I've been going to therapy. I've been had three sessions. Really? Because yeah. I felt and the bad. therapist is pissed. And <laughs> <laughs> sneaking one well, like hey. like you go in, you pay, and well, you lay no, on the I don't couch. pay. S sagging after you get twenty five visits. Do you? Yeah, you didn't know that? No, if you're union? Yeah, if you sag it after you have insurance, you get 25 visits. If oh, I, I didn't know that. I'm I, yeah. see that. Well, I'm uh, WGA, too. Okay, so, so yeah, Jeff says that all the time. You're yeah. in the perfect seat, because Jeff tells us how yeah, he's DW. Yeah, what is I'm DGA? In. Yeah, DGA. They, so, uh, yeah. so enough about, I'm no ABC, longer... Uh, ABC, EFG. Last week, we did a thing about how long, what's your longest friend, and how long is when you, you know... Cause I, I was telling TDP mm -hmm. that... I felt Jeff was acting a little weak by hanging up and not because he he knows me he knows me forever mm. yeah and he got in his feelings I'm like but I know why why because he's advised in a relationship you know how sometimes a relationship makes you weak oh it makes you change yeah so Ooh. you is know, she younger it, yes oh yeah that's what yeah, he is. that booty that's, got him that booty yeah. got him so, she, so he's he's she, having she's to she's in be, his ear and he's got to be different you better than that yes. you don't let him talk to you yes. that way yes. Lewis never made it now you know. <laughs> And you, you're directing now. You know. We all wanted to be Lewis. Yeah, Just so y'all get that clear. We all wanted so to be. So shout out to the people. And, and the comments, um, I have not. I won't read the comments. No, nah, Because they the have comments. comments. No. Fuck that, man. Dan, and I understand, reads the comments. I read them all. And he yeah, responds Dan, to these people. Uh, I, 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 I read, read but I don't respond. Well, only time I respond if they say something like. But you can't. No, no, but let me say, I, I don't respond. Because they need to know your triggers. No, no, but I don't. I don't. I, don't, I used to respond. To me, I don't know more. What I do, they go. You know, Dan is on hand. He talks too much. Why y'all have him? And I just say, Hey, thanks for listening. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I never uh, the yeah. funny you're right, you're right when, he, that, when he gets here. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. And I have nothing against people. I appreciate them listening. Because boss lady, she called me and said, Louis, I think you need to read the comments because they said you were really mean to Jeff. I was like, So. <laughs> He's a dude. He was. Man. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, he's, and, and that, that goes into, because we're going to, uh, first we normally, I don't know how you guys do it, because your show is crazy and, and <laughs> a lot of fun. And is Nikki Pam still on your show? Yes. You know, I'm, you I'm just going to get rid of her. Huh? Hilarious. She's, she's hanging in there. Uh, is she still friends with, um, he's too, he's with, 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 with Claudia made it. She shot right so, by her. Yeah, Claudia made it. Claudia's on another show now. Yeah. The, so they, they're giving away a, a $200 million or something. For what? It's uh, it's the the show she was on with the two cases. Oh, oh, so they're oh. on an island. And oh, they she's got a, on that show. Yeah, she's back? on that show. Yeah, yeah she's, she's on. So that, she's yeah. a suitcase person. She's no, she's, she's looking she's for a, the suitcase. Yeah, she's a con contestant. contestant. Yeah. Oh, good for her. She's a hustler. Yeah. I, you gotta give it to Claudia though. She is a motherfucking hustler. Yeah, she, she and she hold her own. own. Yeah, she can she can hold her own too, even with the lisp. Anyway, she had one. Yeah, major. It's more than. Really? He wouldn't know. I never knew because he's. I never knew. She sound honest. like me. She yeah. sound like yeah. Dig it. I thought she was normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, who's still on your your son is still producing it? Yes. Okay. Uh, he's cool. Yeah. I'm like, how's his family? That's my man. Everybody's good, man. He's good. Okay. Yeah. And and um, 
I, I see your daughter is in a play and stuff like that, right? Yeah, my daughter has picked up the acting bug, and she sings. She does everything. And so Tangie works over there, so Tangie is her teacher now in her <laughs> acting class. Tangie who? Ambrose? Ambrose, yes. Okay. Oh, I like Tandy, but the only thing she got going, she's, she's, she'll, she'll have a forever body forever. Yes, forever. She's like and 108. She, well, right? and she's going to look good. And she yeah. will have the greatest attitude. Yeah. I've oh, never all the seen, time. I've yeah. never yeah. seen her man. But I think. But she can act. Oh, she can. I she think can her attitude, once you, if you married her or live with. Uh, it's, a re- it's a reason why people single. Make sure you have that clear. At yeah. This, at this stage of our life, there's a reason. Right, right. Because she's, you know, yeah. I think she's cray cray. Yeah. She yeah. might be cray cray, yeah, but she she's cool. But she's well, cool. She was, she was, she was married to, I don't know. Yeah. No, they weren't married. No, uh, but they, anyway, we won't get to that. So story. my daughter <laughs> has the book and, and she can act, she can sing. It's, it's How weird. How old is she? Uh, she's four, 15. She's okay. in 10th grade, ninth grade. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird, and I and I go. It's so, weird because she has more talent. Than oh you. yeah, she's way more. She's, yeah. she's Speedy's my dad. And then I Can't go, be. I go. Uh, so do you, is this you want to do television? She's like, nah, I'm good. What, what does she want to do? She wants to sing. Okay. And then now she just she just started rapping. Oh, she's rapping now. Well, Tangy had her rap in her class, and she did well. So. Good. I mean, so she, so you let t- as opposed to uh, what's her name, the other acting. Woman, that's a great actress. Oh, she, from, Rindy uh, Wickwell. Rindy, uh, Rindy Wickwell. No, it's the other. No, lady no, you talking about the, the twins? Uh, the ones that played the one of the twins. No, the one that played Will Smith's uh, mom. She works. There. She that's her thing. The well. dark skin one. No, that the played Will Smith mom. That came from Philly. Remember the mom? Oh, the oh, light, the light oh you're talking about, about uh, uh, Vernay Watson. Yes, Vernay's there. She's on the show that I'm working on. She's on um, Bob Hart's episode. Oh, you, you did a warm up there? Yes. Yeah, cool. Bob, yeah, well, I love that show. I yeah, it's a great show. She's yeah. she's so funny. She's yeah, so she funny. kills it. Um, so uh, so, how was your week? We asked. Did you have a good week? Uh, it's been cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, cool. And you had a great week. Got a had a great show. I had a show at the. Um, well, you gotta ask everybody. You just what? can't throw that out. Well, no, what to say? You know, I, was, <laughs> I had a uh, put it, put this way. I had some great shows, there but go. I'm going on the road next week. Who are you going with? Yourself? DL. <laughs> Oh, so good for you, man. You know, yeah. That's dope. So I'm going to be uh, opening up for DL in Milwaukee. That's dope. Okay. Man. So yes. now, are you featuring or are you hosting? Um, it's so it's his call. I think he has somebody else, but he hasn't told me yet. You know, he has other people that go out with him, but I don't know if Jay is going out with him and uh, Bodacious. So um, as of, I just know that I'll be in Milwaukee with him. Oh no, I do have one. I'm up here. But what? go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So I'm going to be um, doing that, and then um, oh, I'm up for a commercial. Good. You're on, you're on hold. Yeah, I had a call back. If I get it, I go to Mexico and shoot it. Good so for you. I'm hoping to get that. Um, show's been good, going good. And as you guys know, we had the big show coming up. So hopefully, you guys can make yeah, it. You're not allowed to. Don't oh, worry about the okay. Ice house. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, but no, but it was a great. It He's was gonna be at the Ice House on February 10th. Yes, 9:30. It's an all women's show. That's why, why I was going to emphasize. It? Well, because I'm the host. So I, he's been. I put it together. Jeff got his feelings hurt because. He doesn't put us on the show. Well, he called me one, and I, I couldn't do it. And then I called, told him to call Jeff, and I called Jeff. That was a ha-ha show. I said, "Hey, Jeff, uh, Danny," and then Jeff turned it down, and got mad because yes, he thought he was the second of, choice. That was the start of it. No, uh, shout out to um, I'm doing. The, I'm back on the Tom Joyner cruise again. I did oh, it last man. year. I didn't want to do that, call, man. I got the call Monday. That's why I totally forgot. I got the call Monday that they want me to come back for the set for another one. So who sets yeah. that up? What's the dates on that? I yeah. love the Tom Joyner cruise. Yeah, I want to do that, man. I love that cruise. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, been I'm gonna say this. Yeah, and I'm not gonna point out any other comics, but there's been comics at least five that was there have done nine of the cruises, and I looked at each one because I knew each one of them. I said, y'all motherfuckers never said shit to me about this cruise. And they never said nothing to most of the people about mm-hmm. this cruise because they wanted to be that dude on the cruise. Now, you know, I would say their names. That's the best cruise ever, though. It yeah, is. I did, it's, I, the their most fun. it's the most fun I had. Well, that's all right. Cat time. Williams to tell us who it is. I did, <laughs> let me tell you something. I did that cruise the the one time I did it, man. I met the bad chick from Houston, man. I can't lie, though. Messed it up, man. She was so you bad. You blew it? Yeah, I blew it. She liked me, too. Yeah. I didn't believe it. Though. Did she? Yes, yeah, she did. Can we call her? Yeah. Did you you still her? got her number? Uh, somewhere on my Impossible, phone. Impossible. Wow. Okay. Oh, no, nah, she was cool, though. But that time, joining the cruise. But he, you're absolutely right about that. But I, you I, know what? I I'm going to say this, though. It's kind of weird to me. I just don't understand why I, people hoard Let me say, it. well, they hoard it because some of the dudes that are on it ain't as funny as they 
it's just people that are trying to get it. Okay, it's April 27th through May 4th. Man, I want to do that cruise. So how the comedian, who puts it, who puts it together? So Kim got me on. Kim, Kim so I, so I, I'm going to do a backstory. I know you got other stuff you do. Um, so I'm doing the, uh, we're doing the Blame It Tour. And we get to Atlanta and Tom Joyner's in the audience. And I'm killing, I'm hosting, blowing this motherfucker away. And and I said, give it up for Tom Joyner's in the house. I said, I've never done the cruise. And I go to a joke, kill it. People laugh. And I come out of the joke, Tom Joyner's in the audience. I've never done the cruise. Go to another joke, kill that one, come back. Tom Joyner's in the audience, y'all. And I've never done the cruise. So Tom stands up and says, next time, you're going to do it this, whatever that year was. Never got the call. So I hit uh, I hit uh, uh, Jay Anthony. And Jay yeah. said, you've never done the cruise? Never done the cruise. So Jay calls me, and then Kim hooked it up as well. So Jay and Kim got me pretty yeah, much Kim has done it before. Yeah. Because Kim was on the year I I was on it. her. So Kim has her own comedy show. Each each comic that that's in there gets a, a night of comedy. Mm-hmm. And she has one. Jay has a night. Uh, Steve Brown was there. Yeah. Was the only man from Miami? Uh, Dixon. Louis, Marvin Dixon. Marvin Dixon has a night. Well, he has a night, but he had lines. He's on it, yeah. And so I just, and, and so I was just like, God, he's, and he's like, they've all been on the cruise. This is my eighth year, ninth year. And I'm like, y'all didn't invite no other comedians? Y'all they didn't? never, they, uh, yeah. I, it's, it's crazy to me. I just, well, I don't. Good for them. Yeah. I mean, some people, I mean, that's, you know. It's, but I ain't gonna lie, though. It's fun. You love it, Lou. I'm that's a singles boats. man crew. You don't like boats? It's, it's not a boat. It's a, it's a, it's a ship. Huge ship. Yeah, it's a big. Yeah, I mean, we're a patch. I mean, I've. Uh, yeah, so I. I, I it's going I out of Houston. Ever. It's leaving Miami. out of Miami. Yeah. Man. Code yeah, three does a lot. Of it's cruises. going to. So um, I should just pay to go. You want to go with me, parties? Hell yeah. I mean, you in my cabin. Uh, <laughs> so Lee's out of Miami, <laughs> departing out of Miami, going to the Dominican Republic. I'm looking up the going price to now. Puerto Rico. I've never been it's to Puerto Rico. It's going to Haiti. It's going. That's the first time I've seen that. Well, Haiti. it doesn't go I don't to see it, Haiti it go, on it, here. It goes to Labadee. It doesn't. That's well, that's Labadee. Because Labadee is the island. It's the it's the it's the beach of Haiti. It's Haiti, but it's not. You don't get to go into Haiti. Oh, okay. It's, it's called Labadee. Well, we go to Puerto Rico. Yep. I Can you get a discount, Speedy? Because I want to go. I don't know what I get. I just said you go free. Just, I got to do. I got to shoot my commercial tomorrow. Uh, my best studio. friend used to work for Tom Joyner, so we got on there a couple times. Now free. I'll say this: I saw so uh, Alex Alexander O'Neill. Mm. He performed last time. <laughs> oh my god! It, it was, it was, it, but people wanted to see him. Cause they like to, you, they just wanted to see. So there's a line to see Alex. Everybody and they and his show was like eleven o'clock, and then he had two o'clock. Couldn't get no seats, and I I went to eleven. I couldn't do it because it was bad. He would, had to sit down. He couldn't do. He couldn't sing, and so the background sings through him or sings over top of him, and I just couldn't. I couldn't stand there to see him like that. It was it was not cool. But well, and he's, then is he ill? The cocaine ain't no joke, man. The, the oh, cocaine okay. gets you. And then, yeah, it was it wasn't good. It wasn't sexy. But but um uh so on the cruise, on if you guys are gonna go, and I gotta make this I gotta do all this stuff tomorrow. Shaka Khan, Earth Wind and Fire, Tank, Kurt Franklin, Ashante, uh Meth Man and Red Man, Bobby Brown, Ja Ru, and many more to be the end. Yes. Oh, that's great. Have you, the crazy thing about it is that you can go at any time at night. Yeah, something catch, to do every night. I mean like at any time though. Yeah. Like you can go two in the morning and catch an act. That yeah. that's any time. Any time is the times you you. I'm no, but saying, no, I'm sometimes people How you put any time. This is funny. Uh, some people do any time like after a certain times, and they don't think nothing's cracking. You, you have a tendency to repeat yourself. You, you don't realize that, but you. I'm sure that I'm sure you know when you have your own show, they'll remind you. The producer. <laughs> It'll be in your ear. Danny, you said that already. Go to another subject. <laughs> go to, yeah. Sorry about go to the commercial. Sorry about the gym. Yeah. No, I like. So um, it is. Um, Talk to me. What is this? It, oh, oh, we have a great subject. Well, a subject that ah, TD, you know it's well, this was interesting because TDP and I were talking, and I because you know I was bouncing things off him. And mm-hmm. First of all, it's interesting. You drove down Crenshaw, so I don't know how the fuck y'all do this. Just every street was crowded. I, Crenshaw, and and I made the mistake. Came down Venice. Venice took me forever. You came over the bridge. You came down. I, I got Valley, off the right? freeway. I got off the freeway, and I said, "I'm gonna just go down Venice because I, you know, born and raised here. I, I'm thinking Venice, straight shot to Crenshaw. Come on down. It's like every light was 20 minutes. You gotta take Literally. Vine. You gotta take the 101 to Vine and then come through. But you hit a little bit of Hollywood traffic. But once you get past Beverly, 
then you bam oh, Crenshaw. Man. Crenshaw was no, it was man. I don't know how y'all do it. I, I don't do it, but um, it, was, it was it was bad. Yeah. Uh, so you got to go around. Around like, where? Like go down Buckingham to Santa I, I, Rosalia. I saw Buckingham and I was going to make a right. And I'm like, nah, yeah, I don't know where that's going to take it me. It avoids all the traffic on Crenshaw. I, I never come well, down you Crenshaw. You grew up here. Yes. So, so. I took Vernon today. <laughs> I so wish he'd get mad like Jeff. Just, and I, don't know, stop coming I don't take it personally. I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, because, okay. So listen, um. We were talking TDP and I, and I was like, man, what's going on with Jeff? Why are you acting that way? Then TDP said, well, I can't. I'll let him say it. But we sort of agreed that the whole thing of men being sensitive and men acting like women and, and the whole. Well, I think because he's dating a younger girl and she's in his ear. No, nah, I don't think that is. Okay. Just like that when she ain't here. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> him and Louie, him and Louie, well, like TDP oil said, and water. TDP said that I'm always on him and I've always, you know, mm-hmm. riding him in the whole journey of our comedy journey and mm-hmm. our, you know, artistic journey. And I said, no, I've always championed for Jeff. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I've never, this is the way I put it. I've never left Jeff standing outside when I went into a place. Gotcha. Okay. So, so when you went in, he was with you. Yeah. Or if we didn't go in, if we couldn't, if I couldn't, if he couldn't get in, I didn't go in. Okay. Got it. So, I mean, to me, that's a real homeboy. So you you got him on um, Bill Cosby show. You got him on the Cosby show. I wasn't on the Cosby show. Well, you you, kind of was. He was on a different world. But I got him involved with the whole Tyra Banks show. That's not what. And then he became a big stage manager. Okay. I thought that was on Old Boy show. He became. Yeah, but he it started when he was working at I was doing the warm up for Tyra Banks show, mm-hmm. and then I spoke to the guy Robert. And I was like, "Hey, my my boy mm-hmm. Jeff came on as a PA, and then he was messing with then my man in the hallway, yeah. and then he got became with Craig Ferguson show, yeah. and then became a stage manager. Mm. So that's hey, you that's know. a shot. Yeah. So, so you're absolutely right. So yeah, so, you, you ain't leaving behind. You ain't so leaving behind. I mean, I've you know, so it, it's unlike Guy Tory. Anyway, go ahead. I know I was about to say that. It's still, it's yeah, still yeah, yeah. About I, that. I, every time I see a guy, I go, you, yeah, hey, how you doing, guy? I do that to him. Because I, I know Good. you ain't helping nobody. Good. Thank you, somebody. Oh, he, oh, oh so, so you agree with that? Oh, I, he do, No, he he told us that backstage. He said at what? The comedy, at the comedy store. What? He said he don't think it's his responsibility to tell anybody about anything that, like, in other words, if he's going to an audition, and, and this is my best friend, I'd say, hey, man, I'm doing this audition. Right. Send your shit in. Right, right. He felt like, no, God gave that to me. And I'm going to go do it. I, it's not my responsibility to tell you. And we're all backstage. I think you were there. You, you were there, Dan. And, and so I said, I don't think that's cool. I said, if that, if you have a best friend or the the buddy that you're riding with, you have right. other friends, but this is the dude you ride with, and you didn't tell him? He was like, no, I'm not, I don't need that. And Danny was standing right there. He said, mm-hmm. I don't need to tell Danny. And he felt that way about his brother, too, I guess. Yeah. He's, his thing was, it was for me and me only. That's not That's not yeah. cool. So. I didn't know that. You could oh, yeah. feel that. What? That was God. You could feel that. I didn't, know, I, I didn't know. I, been, I knew that I, you and him, I knew what that yeah, whole, but that was the, I'm talking about, I didn't know he would do something like, my thing is you always ride with your boy. Who, well, because everybody got whatever the click is like. I remember when uh, your boy was trying to hang with our, with uh, Fox crew with us um, from uh, St. Louis. G-Thing? G-Thing. So Johnny Mac brings him by the house. I'm at home. I don't know if I ever told. I told a story on my show. So I'm at the house chilling. Fox calls me and goes, "Hey man, uh, G thing over here." And he told me he's funnier than you. I said, "Anyway, Fox, I got a little honey here." He said, "No." He said, "Come on through." I said, "What?" He said, "Come through." I said, All right. This is when he had the house in Encino. Okay. So I, I get there, and for those who don't know, the house in Encino when the the gate uh, opened. I'm sure they don't know, but they didn't. Okay. So when the gate opened, it swings open. <laughs> When it open, when it closes, it closes very, very slow. Right, super, super slow. Like anyway, so just keep that in mind. So I get there and I go, Fox, what's going on? He said, This nigga said he funnier than you. So G thing was like, Nah, I was just playing Fox. He was like, No, nah, nigga, you said you was funny than Speedy. Say it now. Nah, he crazy. So Fox gets mad. So he goes, didn't do the town. Say you nah, crazy. Okay. No, nah, he gets mad. Fox gets mad. Like man, you need to get the fuck out of my house then, because you can't be in this crew. You gotta go. I don't know why Johnny Mac brought you over here. So he leaves. <laughs> Remember the the gate swings open. Uh-huh. So he the he gets on the other side of the gate. We're all standing there looking like, all right, take care, G thing. And then the gate starts to close very very <laughs> slow, and G is still standing. 
But that happened with him and Will Smith. <sighs> what, G thing? Nigga, Will went to him and said, hey, man, everybody here from Philly. He said, because G was, G, G was doing the warm-up for Dwayne Martin show. Oh, okay. okay. And yeah. and he was trying to get on the show. He's buddy hustling. He's doing everything he could do because, you know, he wasn't in nobody's crew. And they Will went right to him and said, hey, man, everybody here from Philly. He said, I'm only taking care of these guys. So, yeah. Man, but the truth comes out a lot of yeah. times. Well, but G all, thinks funny though. Like, I didn't say nothing. Don't, I say, don't say nothing. What you to just me. said was girlish. You were, I'm being girlish right yeah, now. Yeah, the truth comes out. When, I mean, it does. I mean, I mean, Thank ya. Okay. Yeah. So G, yeah, because G thing is funny. He just it's, he's G thing. If he wasn't G thing, he'd be way pat for, way p- further along than right. Yeah, he thinks he has a Barack Obama attitude. He, he, he thinks, thinks he's, he's the like when he walk in the room, everybody should go. That's G thing. Right. But they don't. Right. They go. They say that's the guy with the towel. Yeah. Well, can you give me something to drink? They think he worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's interesting. Um, funny dude, though. Very oh no, funny. he can he can kill it. He's, he's shooting his special. He shoots it on Friday. Yeah. For Netflix or I don't know who he's shooting for, but he shoots he's shooting it in um, Burbank. So Could I'm be. sorry, I'm sorry, North Hollywood. She went to Kansas show. City. She went to Kansas City. Ooh. I wouldn't take that chance to do the show here. I know it's interesting. I, I wouldn't I, take that I, chance I would, here. Yeah, just the energy would be yeah. totally. different. I, I would mean, go just... somewhere else, like Kansas City, somewhere near your hometown. Well, he's from St. Louis. Well, St. Louis. I would go back St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah, I would go with because the audience here is so jaded. They yeah. see everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you and, can, and you may not get an audience that's you, genuine more so than someone's getting paid to sit in the audience. Right. right. And so that's a different life. I, yeah. I have to remember, I remember I have to shoot mine in Philly then. Yeah. You from no, Philly? You should, you mm-hmm. should, no, they, they don't. When last time you been to Philly? Uh, well, I, I could say a year ago, but like a year about a year and a half you ago when I screened yours my, in the boxing when race. I screened um, my documentary. You should do it in the boxing. I might do it that. I might be in the states. It's a good fight city. I can't go. What's a good fight city? I seen your legs. You, I, mean, I still can go. Yeah. You ain't got no. All you no, gotta do is kick him in no, the. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what you tear? Swing at his knee. So, Speedy was the reason. <laughs> Let me tell y'all this story real quick. We were playing in the uh, Entertainment League. And here's the thing about Just it. Just so you know, I didn't know you even played ball, bro. That's what I was trying to tell you about. Here's the thing about it. I played NAIA ball. No, you did not. I got proof. We're not going to do him that. Him and Jeff. Jeff played at UNLV. He I'm gonna, played I'm in gonna, We're not going to do I'm, that. I'm, no, we're we we not. No, we're not. I, yes, I'm a, I got proof that we got, I played NAIA ball. So anyway, I played ball, right? So they, people were saying, yo, you should be in the entertainment league, blah, blah, blah. I joined it. We have a game. We're playing speedy in them, right? So we're doing warm-up. Everything's good. So when I, Jason Barnes. I look down. I see. So Dan and if y'all haven't seen Dan's legs, they're this big right here, and so he had the shorts on, and we were like, "What is? Why is his leg so skinny?" And we couldn't believe you was in the layup line. I said, "I ain't no Dan to play ball." Now, now here's the crazy thing about it: we had um, Jason Barnes six nine, mm-hmm. and I asked Jay, like Jay, you want to start? He's like, "No, you can start, Dan." I was like, "I right, I start." Fifteen seconds into the game, literally, ball 15. goes up. No, and jump ball go up. The jump ball goes up. And they tip um, it to go, and it's going out of bounds. No, what? No, Albie, no, what happens? They get the, we get the rebound. We get the tip. Albie, boy, Albie Shore's son, you know, he could ball. Yeah. So he, he gets okay. the ball. He shoots a jump shot. First, I'm open. I'm like, yo, I'm open. And he gave me a look like, yeah, nigga, we see. You. So then he went ahead and shot the ball anyway. So I went to go get the rebound, and the ball's going out of bounds. I'm standing right there. I yeah. see him go past, and I see his knee. Go the other direction. My 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 patella tendon went up into my kneecap. <laughs> so it's maybe a minute going Hello? on the clock. For real? Hey, hold on one second. P- pickle, I need you to do me a favor. Pickle? My boy Tom Brown from DC. We can't put no dude on there. Pickle. Yeah, 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 we can't. Not on the man show. No. Uh, pickle, call hey, pick. no, no, no. number to call in. Oh, Pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a phone number to call in. Why did you? Oh, because nobody wants to talk to somebody named Pickle. Okay, so we got a call? Okay, well... I, I know that Pick, poet is I'm gonna give you the, <laughs> I know that Pick, Caller, you're on the air. I'm gonna give you a number to call. Okay, I'm gonna text you a number to call and I want you to call in. Yeah, right. Tell him what's don't say Pick, no dude named Pickle. Hey, what's up? What's going on? What's going on, fellas? It's here from the DMV. Because you're talking on the phone and we're on a doing a show. Well, you saw me on here. You should just told me to get off the phone before you put that hey, on hey, my hey, ear. Hey, 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 hey. What we're not doing, you go. Give Pickle, text Pickle the number. <laughs> All right? You can't argue with the woman yeah, when you're pickle. talking to a guy named Pickle. pickle. Yeah, yeah. Girl. <laughs> what you're not going to do. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? It's Jeremy from the DMV, fellas. What's going on? What's, what's up, up Jeremy? What's up, though? Uh, Nothing much, man. 
happy to see Speedy on the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, because uh, if he wasn't here, <laughs> TDP not here, it'd be rough, man. <laughs> We'd be talking to Pickle. Uh, yeah, Pickle right. got to tell us oh, how good this nigga boy, was. Oh, boy, I'm not right, so, going to take it seriously. I, uh, I'm going to just keep quiet. How, how's, I'm see, everybody's in their feelings. I'm this nigga put in his phone, hey, Pickle, text it, <laughs> call this no, number. I need the number. <laughs> he put, hey, what's Pickle. What's the number again? How you hit a nigga with, hey, Pickle? Uh, did he, what's the number? <laughs> hey, Pickle, yeah, it's hey, Pickle. It's on the screen. He said, hey, Pickle. We got to call her. And an emoji, a smiley emoji. <laughs> you stupid. Hey, I did not pickle, say that. Smiley emoji. I bet not see no. What's that? The uh, uh, one that? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fruit. Hey, pickle, call me. Uh, All right. Pickle being that ass boy. See? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pickle, see, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, he said, wait a oh. minute. And then, but I will still support. Let's talk tomorrow. Love you, brother. Get the hell out of here. Say that. It says, whoa. it says, love you, brother. Loving dudes. You gotta read the whole thing. Trick. Nope. It's my boy I went to high school with. Yeah, all right. Good buddy if he was in the yeah. band. Was, was his name Pickle in high school? Yeah, Big Pick, 6'5". Big Pickle. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Big Pickle. Wow. <laughs> his name is Pickle, that's right. Hey, hey, Jeremy from DMV, you got, a, you got a boy that you went to high school named Big Pickle? <laughs> That's nah, we don't we don't do that down south. Man. That's what I'm that you about. text. <laughs> yeah, with an emoji. Nah. Hey pick. Nah. None okay. of that, man. Hey, what's up? How's the family, man? How's everybody? Family's great, man. Everybody's good. Uh life is great right now, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. How so about yourself? Good. you know what? Since you called and yeah, you probably won't get question. any more callers. <laughs> uh, well, they might call because Speedy's on the show. Uh our, the topic we were gonna talk about since you called, I don't know how you feel about it. Since we're speaking about pickles. pickles yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a good point. So we were joking, but it, it, why do, what do g- gay people really want? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. we I need mean, to you know ask a, a gay person. Yeah, we can't ask my Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not gay. So Damn, because what if he went? Well, what I think they want. <laughs> she said Lewis. Is Lewis. You I mean, Lewis. Okay, here's the thing. I, I mean, maybe I should set it up better. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have yeah. no. I, I, my daughter's not gay. She's she's she's. She like girls. Yeah, so she would be a lesbian. Yes. Or she she's a lady. That's she still gay. She's a lady hey, dude. She no, a lady. If you like the same sex, you're gay. No, no. And I looked it up. What the what, definition what? of the modern definition? Gay is is reference to men who like men of the same sex. And Lesbians, women who like correct. women. No, lesbians are are that's lesbians. their title. Women who like women. Yeah. And bisexual means you like both. So I looked right. it up. So let's make sure we're clear about okay. what we're all saying. Right. Right. And this is due to all respect to to people who are gay, oh, because Jesus. I think it's important. Because someone told me once, I said. I'm not interested in that. And they said, well, that's offensive that you're not interested in that. And I was like, oh, they was I disagree. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and my yeah. thing is that I, I believe we're at a point now where the dialogue should be not offensive. If you're not being offensive, you're just asking questions. You're just trying to okay. have a dialogue. So, so you're asking questions. Well, because I, don't, yeah. I very seldom hear people say, hey, I'm heterosexual. You don't have to say it. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, but it's, 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 it's go ahead. It, this is a result of us living in a hypersexual society. Because if you travel outside the United States, sexuality isn't on the forefront like it is here in America. Mm-hmm. And it's funny that y'all are mentioning it, you know, being gay. I, I had a family member just reveal to me recently that they are gay. So, you know, it, it's it's kind of interesting that we're <clears throat> living in these times now where everybody can be open about it and be accepting. But I think sometimes they kind of go overboard and almost, um, it's almost like they want you to buy into their lifestyle. And if you don't, then... They're offended, or you're homophobic. You're or, homophobic, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's getting ridiculous now with the whole gay, bisexual, transgender, and a lot of that has to do with our society. I mean, it's on TV; they were yeah. pushing it. I just don't understand why we're so concerned with who people lay down with at night. I I, I, right, that's my thing. My mind. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, people talk about all that kind of stuff. Like when, when, here in uh, California, LA, people put a flag out on their in yeah. front of the house. Yeah. Like who cares? Just put the uh, rainbow flag. And my thing right. is, who cares that y'all gay in there? Now, now but that's interesting because see, <clears throat> we have we're at we're at our school. It's it's open. <laughs> we're open. All everybody's welcome. That's the sign that they have, and they have a yeah. rainbow. But I've noticed sometimes. But why do we have? I'm not saying. Why do they have to have that? Everybody is. You know, everybody's welcome. Why do you have to say everybody's well, welcome? Well, because I'm just some, because that. a lot of people don't feel safe. Mm. A lot of and a lot of Everybody times they're not welcome. Right, they're not welcome, and they're not. They don't feel safe. How do they? Not, how do you? How do you know they're not welcome though? 
Because you don't have your flag. You get they because get you discriminated. Would, yeah, they but they wouldn't know they was discriminated yeah. unless they said. I mean, they. I, I don't understand. That's the part I don't understand. I mean, I really don't. Most time, no one. I never seen people to go. Well, he's gay. He can't come up in here. Well, I mean, oh, oh, they. You haven't seen it, but it has happened. It, it yeah. happened. I mean, there were people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear about the companies that don't want to do wedding cakes for gay couples yeah. and. But isn't that their right? Well, well but it's, it's discrimination. But, but I know if someone because, didn't want to serve me, I would just go to another business. Yeah, but I mean, some people fight. But that's the same thing they say would happen right. with us as black people. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to serve us mm-hmm. certain water fountains. So that was discrimination. Exactly. And we fought for that. We fought for those rights. Mm-hmm. And I mean, there were in the Reagan administration, there were uh, people who got fired because they but found out that about, they were gay. To me now it's different, though, because it's almost to the point now that even black people rights aren't as powerful as gay gay rights. That's one of the questions <laughs> on there. How um how does their cause different from Okay. The they black they cause? hijacked our cause. To be honest with you. But you I, I think it I think it's totally different because for one, you can look at me and tell I'm black or if I identify as black. I can look at another person. I don't know the sexuality until they tell me. Well, so unless, unless like, your name is Pickle. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but right. it's, it's, I'm, it's, it's, go ahead, Jeremy. It's, it's like it's like this pre preconceived notion about skin tone, which has been beaten to us for the past thousands of years. But then again, when it gets to sexuality, I don't know your sexuality until you tell me. But you, like most politics. people don't even don't care. Know. That's yeah. the thing about it. Most black people, people But when you say yeah. most, well, black, see, black people don't care. Here's the reason why black people care. We because don't. of what poets just asked. Our issues that we had, that what we went through, have been hijacked by that uh, agenda. So now when we had problems where we couldn't be served because we were black, no one doesn't know if you're gay unless it comes out, you show it or you say it. So we'll, our whole, that whole thing has been hijacked. And now black people don't have as many rights as, as, uh, as of the lesbian, I mean, the gay, LBGT, you know, all of the community. <laughs> what? Just, just say LMP. Well, well, say LMP. Well, 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 the, alpha, the alphabet the community. Six 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 well, I mean, six six I mean well, y'all know it better than me, it seems like it. But um, well, leave it alone. Here, here's the <laughs> thing. Here's the thing. Uh, let me ask you this question. You have nieces that you care about and nephews, right? Mm-hmm. That you truly love. Okay. If one of them came to you and said, "Hey, uncle, mm-hmm. I'm gay," yeah, and mm. how do you feel about that? Yeah, can you support me? Yeah, and you? I do. I have one, and he's actually was a uh, Alvin Pickle. Haley. Don't say that, man, because that's my. I'll tell you, all right, that boy. Well, he gonna gonna show up. Yeah, he might he show up. If he find this one, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but let me say, definitely but he definitely, <laughs> he definitely ain't that though. But let me say this. Okay. He, my, my my cousin, my uh, cousin, he's an Alvin Haley dancer, and mm. I came and supported him right here in LA. Wow. They, they came to town. I mean, no, but you asked the question. I don't care. See, the thing about it is, I don't care if you're gay now. I, it's the fact Lewis of the matter. Lewis was the Alvin Haley dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I never. I oh never, yeah, the picture. I never. Jeremy, made it. we're gonna clear the line because Pickles <laughs> trying to call. Gotcha. All, All right, Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. So, but but what I'm saying so, is no, that you asked no, you asked the question, and yeah, I just wait, and wait. I answered it. Okay, just, sure? just relax. Yeah, just, 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 just yeah, relax, right. bro, relax. Pickles about to call. Calm down. Yeah, relax. Yeah, the question is, I cleared the line. Okay. No, the question is. <laughs> She got all the juice out the way. Come the on in, is, They say that he's saying that I'm being bullied. People now, now I'm being bullied at school, Uncle, because I told people I'm gay. So Yeah, what do you do? Okay. Well, how do you what do you, how do you make him feel better? Mm. I, you know what I tell him? You either tell the teacher or you fight him. I, because because fight. He, you wouldn't give him boxing lessons? No, I would. I'm saying I would, but my point being is just because he's getting bullied doesn't mean that's not going to happen. It's going to happen if he was gay or if he wasn't. Right. I can't, what am I supposed to do? But he's Busted. being bullied because so, so, of because so he's gay. you got to go get gay. him. So what? So you what can't you, solve everything fighting. But then you can't solve everything by saying everyone's getting bullied. We get bullied as kids. You're either going to have can't, to defend you can't, yourself. Well, see what they're asking for is there better dialogue? Is how can see, we get people to understand? I, think that's, yeah, I understand what you're saying, and I have nothing against it. I just believe that that's they have hijacked. The, the black cause and we don't even get half the... When you say they, who you talking yeah, about? Yeah, they, the, 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 the gay community. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. Uh, no, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and the thing is, and that's the problem. Most people don't care. No, no, Most yeah, people I don't, really no, don't no, care. It's, but people but see, do care. But see, well, here's the thing. People do care. I would like to see, just like what happened when, when we had, they said, well, the Asian community was being attacked. They had one bad month oh, yeah. out of they had one bad month oh, out of yeah. all of that, and they changed laws. Yeah, and now you don't hear nothing. But you you so it's like everybody has an issue, but you just can't have well, it. Where you, you do still hear it, Danny. Where where Lou? Well, if you listen to NPR, you you hear yeah, what is that, NPR? <laughs> National Public Radio. 
It's where you get like real news. It's like you don't. They they, they I used to. Okay, here's the thing. No, no, look, NPR. I used to, I used NPR, to listen to it. Yeah, NPR didn't talk about Cat Williams. I used to See listen to saying? it during uh, the OJ trial, and I one day I'm just at the radio and I'm just flipping channels, and I ran into Tom Lyka. Like it, like it, yeah, like yeah, yeah. And Tom Likas. Likas, yeah. yeah. And so I'm listening to the show and I'm like, God damn, so I didn't know about this kind of radio. And then the next guy that came on was he was like, All black men are like OJ. And he, he said it on the radio with confidence. I'm like, and I never heard anybody say that in public. Like we're all like fuck that. All of them are that way. They beat up all their wives, they this that, and the other. And then from that point on, I listened to talk radio. And I didn't yeah. know about and, But here's the issue. But you're right. You're absolutely right. But here's the issue. It's not even about how you getting treated. Yes, I think you should be def- defended. It is about how you're getting treated. I just said how you get treated, you should be defended. I just said that. Okay. My thing when it comes said, down, homie, I said it's about. You said it's not about how you get treated. <laughs> that's not you, the issue I'm having with it. Okay, so what's the issue you're having with it? It's that if you go for a job now, it's like, okay, diversity isn't just black. It's not black anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I p- applied for film festivals and most of them, want, they want to uh, have, uh, if you're not gay or from, from that community, they won't accept it. No, that's not I can, true. Let me tell you something. 85, 80% of the movies that were mm-hmm. accepted in Tribeca a year ago, mm-hmm. 75% were from the LBG uh, L- the community. <laughs> yeah, but they have black film festivals. They See, have other film festivals. See, you have to understand. They're, 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 you're they defending, do, and I'm not, I'm not going against you. I'm making are, a point. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Okay. You're the one that's saying... I don't have right. I'm just telling you what's on the table. Okay. Yeah, there is there is DEI. That's what it is. Diverse inclusion. That's what they do. They hire. They look at so many candidates, mm. black, white, and they don't but go. Do they can't base it on your. You, they can't base it on your but sexuality. You, yeah, they can't. But they do. I had a situation how do where you know I, they do because I know people. You, like, you know how many people do you know pickles. that was in that that was in pickles <laughs> that was in that that was in that festival. <laughs> you, you know, you know, let me finish what I'm saying. Cause I didn't say that it's not about that festival. I'm saying that that now in our community, in terms of the entertainment community, you're in the LAPT. You, you gonna let me get it out, or you gonna let me? I'm saying now that we're in that community, a lot of people that those projects are not accepted by. Even had, I tried to get my project into Netflix, and they said, "Well, but, it had an inside person said they're really only looking for black, black women, mm-hmm. and." People are from that community. No, that's so, what th- yeah. I'm just telling you what I was told. But you see, you're you're and I'm talking about somebody from the inside. You're basing it that one person. But see, and you're, pers- you're basing it on you keep saying I, I, mm-hmm. my, okay, keep my, going. That's my. A good point. Keep going. My, you're talking about your project okay. that didn't get. The, keep going. So there are a lot of other black projects that got. Okay, and the, just like you saying about someone being bullied, that doesn't mean they're all being bullied. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's, no, no, you're, because you're missing the point. Okay, uh, I'm not missing um, the point. Yeah, Poda, yeah, he yeah. says it's busy, Poda. Is the line busy? No. Come on, Pickle, get through. Um, I want him to get so, through. So what, what we're trying to we're trying to have a, a Did discussion. Did you give him the right number? Cause okay, give it to me again. There's the, there three, it is two, on the three, screen. Eight, one, it's on the screen. Five, four, two. Okay. Can you see it? Zero, yeah, four. Say, yeah. Four, two, zero. So what we're trying, that, and that's the thing. I think once it's in your home, you start having a different dialogue. Cause, uh, cause, you start listening more. Because you, you've learned listen. You have to, because otherwise you don't you learn. Have, yeah, yeah you, okay. you, I mean, because I remember I used to use the word punk a lot. Mm. It's just a Philly thing. Oh, it's mm. punk. And my dad mm. was like, hey, man, you, you might want to. And this is my dad. It's 80-something. Yeah. You might you don't use the word punk anymore. You know, it's just a, not a good word. So you have to find another word. Yeah, you can't say you punk. Know, yeah, I, mean, it's right. just, I mean, it's just like Kobe, when he got in trouble for saying what he said mm-hmm. to the referee. And he had to apologize. Because there are people like the, the, the woman from Harvard. Mm. who's gay mm. and even the woman that's the spokesperson for uh, the White House mm. she's openly gay and you then, know? then Budapest Budapest what's his name you know and, and, the, and this, this guy that's nominated for uh, the rustic they said the, from that movie the gentleman that was in the color purple and don't you, but, which one but, the one that played um, I mean, I that played um, in uh, the movie yeah he is. played Danny Glover's uh, yeah. part he's gay yeah it, well, and his, his character in Rusted was played. He played the gay no, guy. No, he's gay in real life. We, 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 relax, man. <laughs> oh, no, but Sweetie said he didn't know. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. I don't, I don't follow him. The fuck is that? But they said that he was the first openly gay movie star. And people were like, oh, wait a minute. Harold Rollins was, 
Uh, well, but he was. But Harold, he, he didn't come out, out until so. he went on Arsenio, right? With the hot pants. So yeah. who, who is it? Pick on. Oh, yeah. it's a pick. Oh, oh, pick, what's up, baby? No, hey, call him by his real name. Hey, don't, don't, his don't, real name, no. No, just say Pickle. Don't that's say what you call that's, that's his nickname. His name is Tom Brown. That's my boy. Why are you defensive? Pickle. <laughs> Hella defensive. Yeah. Okay, real quick, man. I got. I need. I got. The, I got to have you ask answer this question. You don't for have me. to, but no, go ahead, yeah, brother. Oh, first of all, can let's I, get it. Can, can we just go ahead. introduce what, what, me? Yes, we got to. This is what I'm saying. You have to understand radio. Nobody knows Pickle but you. Okay, go ahead. So now we're just meeting Pickle. Okay, so go ahead. you say. This is my boy, my baby. First, he was your baby, <laughs> your boy, your pickle. Your baby. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, listen, hello, first of all. Hold uh, on, Mr. Tom. Brown. This is Mr. Brown. Go ahead, you can speak to him. This is Mr. Brown. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Brown. Hi. You're, you, you're, you're, do you know the show that you're calling in, right? In a man's world? Um, I know now. Okay, so you've never listened to the show. Pickle, you in a man's world. Go yeah, ahead, dog. Yeah, so, pickle, so we do a show every week, and uh, your, your brother that you grew up with, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Is on the show. He's one of the comedians. We've been trying to get him off the show, but he keeps coming back. Yeah. I'm tuning in. I'm tuning in from now on. Okay. Well, we appreciate that, but he probably won't be here next week. <laughs> but, uh, uh, my name is Louis Dix. I was tuning. In, I didn't say I was tuning in to listen to him. Hilarious. Hilarious. So he does know you. Um, and Speedy's joining us today. And normally TDP is on the show. Another comedian and Jeff Arnold. So um, and Dannon's history on the show has been that he he talks a lot. And um, he likes white girls. And we've clowned him a lot about his upbringing or lack thereof. And, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, and so that's you, where you we are. And ball. what happened was we got to the point where Dannon was playing hoops and he hurt his knee. And blew then his knee blew out. his knee out. And Speedy was joking about that. And then you called and Dannon was like, oh, my boy, my boy Pickles. And he could tell y'all. Okay, so, cool. so, so hold on. I'm going to, I'll want i take over from it. Pickle, I need you to do two things for me. What? On radio? Come on, come on, bro. Yes. I want you to tell me, people. I want you to. Me, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just interject really quick? Please do. Thank you. Please do. I am so uncomfortable with this many men calling me pickle <laughs> in success. That's <laughs> how we felt. Yeah, we. Your we boy, your boy set that up. Hey, I, 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 Tom. <laughs> he said, "No, he cool I mean, with pickle." I'm, I'm good in a lot of other arenas, but this is making me a little. <laughs> hey, 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 Mr. Brown, you, he texts you, "Hey, love you, pickles," and we were like, "Wow, <laughs> yeah, right." So. Hey, hey, Tom, so let me—I need you to answer two questions for me, okay? Yes, sir. Got you. First question, okay? You ready? Could, yep. could I fight? Oh, we know you can. We know you no, can no, fight. No, you just said it. So go ahead. Nobody Tom. said you couldn't just, fight. Just, Tom, just, I'm just, what the, you, let me do it, Mr. Just, Brown. Has he ahead, always Tom. been this sensitive? He bought. He bought some master hands to the D.C. Maryland area for sure. Okay, okay. no and, doubt. And and Tom was also the one that got me at Sugar Ray Leonard's gym, correct? Okay, yeah, we got me, it. I'm, I'm, we're going to the yes, basketball. Okay, about, okay, now the next question we're is about this. Your body structure. Now we talk oh, yeah. about basketball. Did I literally I, gave you directions. I don't know if I got you. I just gave you directions. You asked me where the building was. And right. I gave you directions. But That's you but you were there that day. I was I was sparring. No, I'm messing with you. I'm I know you. Okay, sure. Tom. Basketball. Yes, sir. Could I play basketball? And did I play college basketball? Yes, you played uh, Mary Crest in Iowa, Davenport, Iowa. Bunch okay. of white I boys. Came down just, to, just, I even got to come down and, and see you play. Okay, just and, so uh, I seen yeah. his legs. He got legs like Where's a cricket. Check? It's like a cricket. Where's my check? <laughs> I'm sending yeah, send the mail. <laughs> we go, uh, Mr. Pickles. Now, Thank now, you, brother. Mr. Brown, I want to ask you a question. Oh, go ahead. Yes, sir. A little backstory. This is Louis Dix. Has Dannon always been this sensitive? Mm-hmm. Like always, <laughs> just you know. No, I didn't say. Well, let me, wait, wait, let me finish. I mean, he's just. Well, I think, I think, Stop, guys. I, that is, I'm telling you, man, that has come with age. Because when he was in the D.C. Maryland area, um, he was just really, a, just a, a cool kind of more observant. I mean, he got crazy, you know, when we did crazy stuff. But nah, this 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 kind of. This is some old man stuff he's displaying now, man. <laughs> now, the explanation I got, like, this is, this is new behavior. Now, Mr. Brown, you know he has a cat now, right? No, he don't. Yes, he does. <laughs> Did no, you know that, Mr. Man, Brown? That's a man called oh, How violence. does that work? Does, does he, how, does, how does that work? I'm not sure how. The cat sleeps with him. And, o, and Omega uh, has a cat. I, in, I inherited the cat. No. I did. You got to that to me. Okay, like, so anyway, my, I already told the story, but I'll tell it again. My God kids... Parents had some issues. They're going to take the cat God back. God fit kids. Parents, parents. Had the cat. 
they had the cat, and they were going to take the cat back. They didn't yeah, want the cat. They could make they make a let guitar me, string out of them. Let me. So they wanted the, they didn't want the cat to be. They were going to take it back to the kennel, right? So they asked me if I would take the cat, and then they wind up breaking up. So I got stuck with the cat. No, you didn't. You go take him back to the to the. If we take the cat back, they're going to kill him. Hey, well, you got nine lives. Yeah, gonna be hey, all right. Go ahead, Pickle. Mr. Brown. I want to, Mr. Brown. I want to uh, ask you a uh, question about our topic. Cat, okay. Yeah. Uh, now, are you married? Yeah. Okay. You have children? Yeah. Are, are How many? And what, what boy or girls? I have a both. You have, I have a set of both. So you have, you have two kids or four? Uh, more than four and less than 30. Okay. Damn. Now, <laughs> our, our topic, we were talking about this whole, the gay movement and, you know, why it, it's, in, it's important to whom and who it's not important to. And uh, we wanted to know if you don't mind your important take to on Danny. this. Yeah, no, and important to me. Just if, if you me. if you would, do you have an opinion on? Do you have anyone? Because that was my backup question was, mm-hmm. who do you know personally? Do you know anyone personally? Oh, yeah. That's gay. Yeah. Like, are any of your children yeah. gay? Uh, or lesbian? None of my children that I have been made aware of at this at this point. Most of them are in adulthood at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and. But I do have relatives and people I consider fam- family and f- some friends who are openly, mm-hmm. yes. Now, who's your closest friend or family member that that um, is is gay or lesbian? I have a, uh, that's a great question. You guys are great at this. Um, let me see. I have a cousin, male cousin, and uh, a god sister. I mean, there's, there's many others, but those are the two. I'll consider it probably the closest in relationship. So, what's your take on on the the, the gay movement? Um, and 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 has it is it does it? I don't want to use the word offensive, but how how do you handle it? Well, well, I think there's multiple answers that I probably could derive. But um, one, as a as a parent, um, I think one of the things that concerns me the most is the lack of censorship around the images and the messaging that's mm. that's put into uh, the atmosphere mm-hmm. that can be very easily misconstrued or misguided by young eyes and ears that are just consuming it for the sake of entertainment or information. And yet, unfortunately, it seems like increasingly uh, more and more these particular messaging, the, the messaging and images are increasing in, in venues that I don't think, that I think should remain innocent and, um, and, and so that's that's a whole other thing. I know it's a universal fight going on all over the place. We, we just does it have to be everywhere? But um, but see, I I think it's speedy. I think in that situation, because I remember you couldn't keep me from certain stuff. You can't. I think it's we can't keep yeah. kids from everything. We we want to. Yeah. We wish we could put a blanket over their head and wait till we wait. figure there's no time for them to get out there. But they're gonna see or they're gonna hear something, yeah. and hopefully they'll come to us or come to you as a parent and say, "Hey, Dad." What is this? Or but, they could handle it. But it's different than being to get it to see it than it being pushed on you. And that's what he's saying, I believe. Okay. No, that, is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It, it, that's the, yeah. I, I'm saying yeah. Seek it out and all that. That's that's a whole other kind of quest mm-hmm. and, and 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 inquiry, uh, curiosity. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you know we're just sitting down watching cartoons and then, <laughs> you know something like that happens on a cartoon. A commercial or, come on. Yeah, com- yeah, that. I'm talking about pushing that agenda to the point where the innocence um, of of my children and my grandchildren is being impacted by this particular, I, I think, somewhat um, irresponsible. <clears throat> but if I could flip it to the other side of it, I love every single one of the individuals in my life um, that are... Uh, that I know to be, or they have professed to be, part of the LGBTQ. I think I said the letters right. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, Dannon didn't. Dannon <laughs> said L A B C D F G. Knees on knees. Dan is a funny guy. So, <laughs> but I, I think I love every last one <laughs> yes. of them, and I and, and and see that. But that has a lot to do with with with, with the faith that I've committed myself to. Right. Mm. That that love piece. Um. Do I? approve of all the behavior. I don't approve of all the behavior of the heterosexual people in my life. So, yeah. um, you know, but I will just simply say it's a delicate balance when you're talking about children and innocence 
and you're talking about adults who make consensual decisions, right? Mm-hmm. And I think um, the same as anything else in life, kind of when adults make consensual decisions, we as respectful human beings have to, you know, at least acknowledge the fact that they, they have the right to make that decision. Mm-hmm. I think where the line gets blurred and has gotten more and more blurry over the last several years is when you decide that it's okay to constantly introduce and, and, and inundate our children's minds and psyche mm-hmm. with this choice that someone else may think is okay. Okay, Mr. Brown, let me, yeah. uh, yeah. final scenario before we let Dan and chat to you. And you can tell your friends because you're long-winded also. Um, but uh, <laughs> but um, we gave the scenario. I'm the show. We gave the scenario Thank to Dan, you. and I'm going to give it to you. Uh, your grandchild comes to you, um, what, we'll say, what, 12, 13? Or let's say 16. 16 comes okay. to you and says, hey, look, uncle, I'm gay, and my friends are, you know, I feel like they're bullying me. I'm not. Uh, can you help me? What is your advice to that young person? I'm I'm def- I'm defending the child in my life first, mm-hmm. their safety and well being and 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 the dignity and the respect they deserve is first number one. There you go. I mean, just, yeah. it just is. Um, we'll we'll have whatever dialogue is necessary or warranted for everything else. Fair enough. So okay, uh, first of all, well, I appreciate. Enough for you? Yeah, yeah, man, that was. Thank you, Pip. Way to go. Hey, appreciate listen, that, I, I, we're gonna wrap it up, but I'm let Dan and uh, say his goodbyes and hellos to you real quick. So, Pick Man, thanks for calling in. Uh, Pickle has been one of my best friends from we, high school. He told us 12 times. Tom Brown has been one of my best friends from high school. He was there for me a lot, you know, a lot of times. Shout came out to New Tom. York, came to New York when I had my film festival. And we met, we were track dudes, too. He was a very good track man. So oh, they say he was attracted. Huh? No, a track dude. Track, something that you sure enough didn't run, Speedy. But uh, track uh, was something that, uh, that's where we met. So, hey, Tom, thanks for calling in, baby yeah, thanks, boy. Yeah, thanks, Much respect. Love, Appreciate it. Love you, boy. And make sure I know. How I can be more involved in, in, <laughs> in your life? Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime I get challenged or something, I'll call you. Yeah, yeah you'll be you'll be our go-to guy yeah. with Danny. How about that? We'll, yeah. we'll call pickles. Call, yeah, call, call pickles. pickles. Call pickles. It'll be a pickle call. Please stop. Please All right, stop. sir. Stop. I love yeah. you, boy. It's getting it's getting really weird now. Stop, please stop saying that name. My bad. All right, pickles. All right, Tom. Sorry about that, pickles. All right, All right pickles. Oh, we're gonna call you pickles for the rest of the time. Every time we talk to you, Mr. wasn't Brown. there a, a person back when we were doing Reach Around Radio called Pickles? It was a girl. It was a girl. It was a girl out of Oakland. So listen, I'm Lewis Dix. You're supposed to say your name. <laughs> I know that. He's not no, saying he, that. You next to Lewis. Yeah, no, he, we do it differently. So. Oh. I'm Lewis Dix. I'm Speedy. Dan and Green. And of course, uh, TDP is uh, wherever he is. And um, the other guy is. He's I'm done with him. He'll be oh. back. I don't girl. think you're next. Jeff, come back, Jeff. I don't think you're next. I've never said that about a dude. That's my home. <laughs> 25% of the couples in this country. Hey, look at Paul. That's a cute picture of you, Paul. Thank you. So you didn't have, you didn't, you didn't have the big biddies in. That picture was about 40 small, years man. old. Wow. Wow, really? Yeah, he's been going. They, he's, he's, <laughs> last week he said something about a mama, and he was almost <sighs> done. Yeah, he, he, he you can't talk it. about Mama Portis. Yeah, you can't. That's talk my about heart right there, Mama, mama Portis. You did go after Mama Portis. Y'all, y'all go after me every week. Uh, that's with, true. But her mama, mama don't have her, her mama, mama was, love me. Yeah, her yeah. mama's all awesome. she does. does. And he, <laughs> she does. She loves Speedy. We love her too. Keep it. All right. Um, you don't know my mama, Nick. See? <laughs> See? Here we go. I'm going to be nice. Keep her name out <laughs> of <laughs> my fucking mouth. mouth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Same with my family. Did y'all get on and laugh Man, about come on. Oh, we stupid. got on pickles, Nick. Yeah, that was we it. got on pickles. <laughs> right. Uh, ain't nobody digging you up your mama. You don't have family. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See? 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 <laughs> <laughs> she went there. She went there. Stop, okay, go ahead. No, okay, okay, go ahead. All right. So did you guys hear about the um, three guys that were found frozen mm, yeah. in this guy's backyard Kansas after City watching fans. the Kansas City Chief game, Chiefs game. Wait, mm-hmm. wait a minute, fro- they, they were watching the game? No, the so guys? three fans, uh, Kansas City Chief fans, were found frozen to death in the backyard of their friend's home where they had gathered to watch the game. But the homeowner is insisting he had no knowledge that their bodies had possibly been there for two days. Well, like when he was watching the game, fell asleep or something? What? Well, supposedly after they watched the game or whatever, they supposedly had left. And the guy who was the homeowner said he had, you know, went to bed. 
And so one of the girlfriends of one of the guys called looking for Mm -hmm. her boyfriend. Um, So two days went by. They called the police and went over to the house and found one of the guys dead on his uh, back porch. Like on the porch? On the porch. And the other two were also found in the backyard frozen to death. No, you you can't explain that. Because you could say, I could see if they were... Somewhere where you couldn't see them. You're like, but I don't know what they'd be doing in the backyard chilling like that. But, it could have no been pun a, intended. It, it could have been it could have been a snowstorm <laughs> or something though. Yeah, but, well, but they if said I'm on that your... day the the temperature was about thirty to thirty degrees yeah, during the day. Yeah, it wasn't no but fell into the teens. Um Yeah, but if I'm on your back porch, you know I'm here. What did they knock? <clears throat> I mean wouldn't you not? I mean, how are you just going to stand and out in the cold death, and freeze yeah, to death? Yeah, that yeah, that part, know. unless you were drunk and passed out. That's suspect. So no details have come about they if they the were guy? drunk or not. No, there's actually the chief of Kansas City said that there, this is not a murder investigation and mm. no one is... A, you know, Black or white? being blamed. White, you know, white oh, boy. They're you know, white niggas boys. Been that, man, we'd have been that to do it, man. Let me. Hey, in. yeah, hey, nigga. <laughs> That's what you heard. So uh, he claims that he had no idea that his friends were laying yeah, in his yard for thing. two I'd days. Said, I'd have said that. Dead. Too. Well, you couldn't smell them. It, oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, the joke is there. I had to. <laughs> it's right there. It's right by the red. Thanks, Luke. So uh, Neil Long. And can you guys say his name? I don't know. I don't want to say it wrong. M.A. Nduka? Yeah, Nduku. Nduki. <laughs> well, is that the guy from, um, I think it's a show called, a movie called. Uh, no. He's no, the he's old a, coach of the he's, of he's the NBA coach. Oh, him. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, he, well, he's not old. He's, he's, with, he's, he's with Houston, Houston now. Yeah, he's but he's the old Boston Celtics yeah. coach. M. Dewey or some Yeah, M. Dewey or What about? What um, well, they have finally reached a settlement regarding custody and child support for their son. Uh, Kez, who's 12 years old, Nia will have sole physical custody of their son and will receive $32,000 mm, a, a month. month in child support from the NBA Does coach. Does the kid know that? He no. Oh, he him, don't know that. He know he got thirty k every she, month? She told him he getting five a month. <laughs> dollars. She did. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> Yeah, well, the former couple will be um, continuing to share legal joint custody. Mm. What's the difference? That Does that mean he's... What's he, the difference probably, between physical and legal custody? F- physical? In other words, I can come get him at any time. Legal. Uh, legally. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Physical because he's he coaching. He lives her, with right. her? She yeah. lives with him. Yeah. yeah. And he lives... Yeah. Because His he's His primary always, home yeah. is... Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's why she's getting 30. So a nanny who will transport mm. the son uh, for visitation between the mother so and the father. So they're not cool then. They're not cool then. Yeah, I that guess means not. not cool. you well, got, you got have she's it. that, I guess, well, they were together, what, 12, 13 years, yeah. engaged. He never married her, but they broke up because he was cheating. Yeah. With uh, uh, a white woman, and he was trying to win a championship. That's why. Yeah, he, he was wait. trying to win. He had to do that. Yeah, he couldn't get married right away. He was doing it for Boston. Yeah, he was trying to win. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so it's it. sad. It's sad all the way around for everybody involved. Well, hopefully, really. you know, the kid is how old? The kid is how old? He's twelve. Is? Twelve. Twelve. So I she mean, it's tough. Years. I mean, but but then again, you know, dad is busy, and so she should be with him. I wish him the, the best because it's tough. It's tough on the kid. It's tough on yeah, the people. Yeah, you need a dad in your life. Yeah. So hopefully, you know. <coughs> hopefully Otherwise, well, hopefully the dad will like have pickle. time to. He's a, it also in the uh, settlement. The father pays for all the travel of oh, yeah. his son yeah. coming to see him. Man, that dude's filthy he's rich. He got, he got a horrible rich. lawyer. Whoever's lawyer is horrible. Because she pretty I heard much got that everything. He makes Four hundred over four hundred thousand a month. Yeah, he's, no, he's, not four hundred thousand. No, it's probably like it's. No, he's 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 not four hundred thousand like a month. No, he's making like seven eight million. No, no. Well, it depends what the season is. He's he's the head coach. He's making like about six or seven million dollars a year. He's yeah, paid up probably close to something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's giving up thirty, and so let's say if he was it was two hundred thousand, you give up thirty. That's about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah could be. Well, I mean, I'm glad that they worked it out and they got it settled. Now they can move on and. And um, and we can move on. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's what you want to say. Thank you. That's a good point. So, um, good news. The Wall Street Journal reported that in 2022, almost 40% of black Americans owned stock, up from about a third in 2016. That's good. You own stock? Lou is in the stock. No, I don't. Do my you? Son. Anybody on the panel? No, no, yeah, I own stock. Lewis, Lewis, and my, my son down. owns. My son. How many the of stock? us on the panel grew up knowing finances? Like nobody. I did. No, because they actually. I'm so old. That's or what they taught us in literature. school. Right. They taught us how to fill I'm, out checks. Oh, that they, part. Yes. Yeah. That's, yes. But that's, I don't. I, I, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any stuff. How to uh, how to write a check? How to write a check? How to make home balance? Home ec class. Yeah. How to balance? Home ec was cooking. Yeah. Well, same thing. Yeah. He was eating. Was cool. Oh, they had economic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But that was I remember, and I remember my my, <laughs> that my yeah. We had a lot. We had a lot Pickle of got strong me fucked up. Pickle black got me fucked up. male teachers in my school. Mr. Scott, Mr. White. I mean, they they actually made sure that we we learned certain things. That was we a white man? No, they were black men. Oh, okay, and they were young. They were like in twenty two and twenty four years old. They were straight out of college. They all went to historical black Philly? colleges. Is yeah, in Philly. Philly. John Barton. I still minute. talk to them. If, to this, if this you're day. from Philly, why are you always in D.C.? Because I, because I finished my last year in high school in Maryland. Maryland? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Greenbelt. Oh, okay. Uh, we went to school together. It's a comedy club. You and Pickle. Me and Pickle. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mr. We're going to call him Pickles. He Mr. Calls Brown him for y'all. We don't know him yet like that. Yeah, once we, yeah. once I haven't we, met him yet. Once we yeah, meet him first. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> my sound effect did work. Here we go. All right. It's a get high moment. <laughs> what is that? Is that that's for getting high? This was it's a bong. Yeah. Oh, okay. I I changed the name of my TV and streaming segment to Two Bongs Up thanks to uh, TDP. Oh, okay. Two yeah, any, anything funny on the show is thanks to TDP. Of course. <laughs> okay, right. so the things that um that I uh, real quick. I'm sorry. Hold on. So are we gonna pass that moment? We actually touched hands for a second. Uh, that, was, I know, that, that was weird. <laughs> was that was weird to me. Okay, I didn't know. I would like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See yeah. what you did, pickle. Yeah, because uh, it, 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 <laughs> <accidental. laughs> it was accidental. It was accidental. We just like that. We both were like, all right, all right. <laughs> that's what you do like this. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> you stupid. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Who touched who? Uh, it was yeah. just uh, we met. In, uh, hey, nah, yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> who touched who? <laughs> I was trying to move my phone, and I just felt his hand. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look, we're here now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you stupid. Got to get yeah. to know you now. <laughs> right, right. So we had just glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So I'm Pickle. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm Thomas, and this is Luis. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was Freddy's weird. name Pickle. Nigga, I'd have never called him that. Hey, bro. T- my yeah, bad, Pickle. I should have never said that. No, you are, it's going to stay with you. Man, can you imagine your... Who you on phone with pickles? Nigga, you need crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, pickle, look here. Can you tell these niggas? <laughs> hey, go ahead. Go ahead, Potus. Okay, so over the week I got to check out the kitchen that's on Netflix. Uh, how was the kitchen, that? who's in it? Um, it's a, a British movie. Oh. But Daniel uh Kaluuya, I think that Kalu- Kalua. <laughs> yeah. He directed it, and Kiwi Tavares. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Better than me. Yeah, okay. Just, just say pickle. Uh, just say pickle. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, he's stupid. Starting in it. <laughs> <laughs> Any name you can't say, just say, just say pickle. pickle. <sighs> anyway, the story is set in London, 2044, and focuses on a man who, uh, or a young kid who meets his dad at his mother's funeral, the father lives in a housing project called The Kitchen. It's like this big structure of, um, like, a big ghetto. It's like the big projects. But anyway. In England. In England. Okay. In 2044. Oh, shit. Um, so. We ain't um, gonna be here. <laughs> it's 20 years down the line. It'll be somebody here named Pickle. Be. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> stupid. It'll be somebody in 2040. It'll named be Pickle, Pickle Jr. Because <laughs> he said he had a bunch of kids. So yeah, 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 it's 20 good. years from now. Is your daddy named Pickle? So, yeah, I'll be 82. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, so the movie is set in this housing project, this futuristic housing project called The Kitchen. And now, now, look at the mindset of that. They're telling... Black people. Uh, exactly. You're I don't about give a to fuck, say, nigga. Twenty years from now, you still, you still gonna, gonna be in, be in this fucking project. That's yes. all that is. That's all that is. 
I that's a Speedy, mindset. That's, that's a mindset. exactly one of my thoughts in the movie. I, I said I so. In the future, it. we ain't gonna make it. People in <laughs> college gonna, gonna be twenty years now, now. Now living you, in the slum. So it is a black movie. It's an all black okay. cast. I didn't ever. It was really that. good, and what I did love about it was they were. In the kitchen. Okay, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you're going to answer the phone call. <laughs> I mean, I know your Could segment's important, but yeah. can we... Could be pickle. No, can you hold... She's going to she, she 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 make them old so she can do a segment. She can exactly. come back to her segment, but you can That's come back right. to your segment, but okay, go No, Paul, do your thing. That might be a donor. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy, for I, I what? Think, yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> so the... Um... Again, so what I loved about the movie, though, although they lived in the kitchen, the slums, they uh, were unified. There was no violence amongst themselves. So but there was the police who were constantly doing raids to try to evict them out of the building. They didn't want them. So it would be hard for me to watch that because, again, I'm seeing it from, like you said, you, and you, you, you recognize it. I'm seeing it from it's just. White folks saying again, you motherfuckers, 20 years from now, this year. Right. Goes, but that's a black cast. Yeah, but but it I'm was, saying the fact that was, you even shot this shit. Was, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying, though. I think it was more people of color and poor people because they have white people that lived in the in the kitchen as well. Okay. But I give it two bongs up. I thought it was good. I didn't appreciate the ending of the movie. I won't tell what it is because like, I don't want to spoil really it. Bad. Is it still in the theaters? It's not really bad. It's just sort of a cliffhanger. So it's, maybe it's on they're going to do it. It's on Netflix? Okay, so I'm going to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's gonna on watch. Netflix. I'm going to watch it tonight. Hmm. Also coming up, Jon Stewart returns to The Daily yeah. Show. One day a week. One day a week mm-hmm. and then the rest will be hosted by other comedians, other hosts. I would so. love to host her. That would be nice. That would be dope. Speedy, you think you can handle? So would you rather do that or Tom Joyner? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do Tom Joyner Cruz. <laughs> this is us. All right. So let, let's let get to the <laughs> phone call they called twice. So here we go. I can't believe she said, yo, I'm doing my second. Right. Yeah, I'm busy. Well, where's that phone come from? I keep hearing it. It's, it's a no Oh, that's you. <laughs> Nick? I, saw, I said, do they know they got a fucking gap? Caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Hey, what's up, man? It's Pooley, man. Pooley! What a do, though? What up, man? What? Hey, I know, I know, I know, old boy ain't gonna like this, but I gotta say it, man. I'm talking about Danny in here. Oh, Lord. Here I know he. Hey, man, everybody mad at Booker Clarence, but ain't nobody mad at Passion of Christ. How the hell are you gonna make Passion of Christ when with no black people in the movie? So, so nobody liked oh. Booker Clarence? <laughs> I liked it. I yeah. thought I have, it was I good. Seen it. Yeah. You liked it? Uh-huh. No, I didn't see that. There was, was, was a lot of people complaining about the movie, man. That was those super my Christians. Thing, they probably yeah, didn't. My thing oh. was, my thing was how you going to be mad at that and not mad at Passion of Christ? Because they probably Passion didn't see it. No for that people. Yeah, they probably didn't see Passion of Christ. And it was way more violent and gruesome than mm. the Book of Clarence. I want to see it. I Book of Clarence is good. I could good make a movie about Jesus with no black people. That just puzzled me. Did you see it, brother? You liked it? Oh, yeah. It was nice, man. I loved okay, it. But cool. hey, mm-hmm. hey, uh, Lou. Yes. I see you. You said y'all took that loss to uh, Mercer Miller and them, huh? Yeah, we took we took that and with, and Pippin got us. Yeah, yeah, back to back. But y'all, y'all boy, all American though, so that's good. Yeah, that was that was yeah yeah. Uh, Trent Perry, we were really happy about yeah, that. Yeah, he thought it was all American. Yeah. But then, but see, we're gonna see him again, and and you know, Percy Miller and and Pippen, I'm gonna they're gonna come at him even harder. I mean, the Sierra, the, the, I didn't, I wasn't at the Notre Dame game because I had to work. Okay. But the, oh, okay. the Sierra Canyon game was just crazy. I mean, Mookie Betts was there. Wow, that's, that's baseball, how crazy it baseball was. Baseball player, right? Yeah, hey, I mean, it's just crazy. To the Philadelphia Eagles, Danny, you was talking all that noise. Excuse me? Yeah, nigga. What happened to the Philly. Philadelphia Eagles? Potus, turn my mic on. I can't hear anything. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> turn your headphones on. Yeah, that was. No, I know. That I know. Was, that was a tough. No, one. um, it, man, we. You know what? We took the L, man. Um, but we hadn't. Pl- we didn't play well those last seven games. We won one out of seven. I don't know what happened. I I told people I think something happened in the locker room. Maybe four or five games, and I think the players quit on the coach. What do you think? Okay, hey man, I think it's, it hurts. <laughs> hey, he po- need another. He need another offensive coordinator. That's yeah, they get well, they did. They, they get one. Hey, so Polly, let me ask you a question or topic. Interested in your take on it? 
Uh, I don't know if you've been listening to the show. Yeah. Um, we were talking. Did, have you been listening to the show? Oh, no, I, I was. Hilarious. Okay, so here it is. So the question is, we were talking about the whole gay uh, journey and, and if you, how do you feel about it? Do you feel offended? Do you feel like it's too much? Do you feel like they deserve everything as far as their rights? Where, where do you stand on that? Uh, I don't care. Just don't, com- don't, just don't compare gay rights and civil rights. That's I don't what I think said. That's what I said. I don't think that's uh, comparable. Now, know? why why do you say that? Uh, it's my. I think being gay is a choice. Okay. A now, choice. You know what I'm saying? Do you know anyone personally that you know personal that's close to you? Uh, man, my niece is gay, man. All right. Now, now, how old is she? Twenty-three. Now, when you first found out, did she tell you, or how did you find out? I think usually black I, thought was, I, I was joking. I thought she was joking. I was like, okay, you're going to you, you gonna get a man sooner than later. I'm still got hope, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and and, and you, so you, so you support her? Yeah, I'm thinking she's going to get a man. I'm still, I still got hope, man. Now, I want to ask you this question. Now, mm. do you have any children, Polly? I'm single, man. Okay, real quick question. Do you, no think, do you think you would have, if your son or daughter was gay, would it be different for you if the girl was gay uh, or the boy was gay? No, that's their choice, man. They got to deal with it at the end, not me. They got a point. Well, that's a good point. That's a good point. Well, you, Hey, Speedy, what happened to my boy? He's still playing basketball, man, you son? My son, yeah, he's still there. He's at uh, Santa okay. Monica College. Okay, this is right. Getting his run. Brooklyn. Okay. How yeah, you he, doing? He played so well, they fired the coach. <laughs> yeah, he did fire the coach. How's Brooklyn doing over there? He's doing good, man. Can't complain. Okay. I want to, okay. but anybody want to hear that shit. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good night, man. Hey, you too, brother. Thanks for Thank you. calling. So let's, let's ask that. Let's Okay, now, Speedy, um, you have a daughter and a son. Would, have, it, would it be different for you if, if your son was gay or your daughter was gay? Which one would you be more receptive to? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, being that I don't have that dilemma... But let's say I did. Um, I, I just still love my kids. They they my kids. Yeah, no, I I, I, I know st- you love. I would them. still love them. It wouldn't be because well, then you would have to say. Not saying you don't love them. You still got to go. Well, I don't want you to do it. It's their life. Like, so, are said. you more comfortable at dinner <clears throat> with your daughter and her partner, or your son and his partner? Neither one. <laughs> Keep it one hundred. Neither one. You? What? If you, if your 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 son or daughter, your niece, whatever, it's, you more comfortable with her and her partner, or him and his partner? It's a big ass grown nigga named Pickle go, hey nigga, I love you. Can you pass that wing? <laughs> um, I I think I would probably be more comfortable with with my with the boy being with gay. With your son? Hmm? With your son being gay? No, you didn't say being gay. Being you said in the presence of him. No, they they they're, they're a couple. They're a couple. Oh. Which couple? They got which couple? You want, you cool with at the table? Yeah, her. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the, my me daughter. Too. Yeah, me too. I mean, and 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 I, of course, I would love them both. Yeah, I love but them both. I would, I would, especially if my son is the male in the well partner. You, you don't know. See, this is what bothers what, what, me. Though. Top or bottom? Here's the part you, that bothers you don't me. Know, here's, you... here's the point that bothers me. You asked that, which is a good question. Yeah, don't say bother. Question. Say confuse you. Say no, bother. it doesn't confuse me. But it doesn't. I, it doesn't no, I'm not confused. Yeah, I'm not going to say something I'm not. All right, but here's what bothers me. Okay. Most of us don't care. See, it, it's not that you, you don't care. No, you it's, it seems you like speak it's for yourself. Not okay. I don't care. Okay. Well, you don't have no kids. What? So it's Again, easy for you to say that. Well, even if I had kids, I don't think I would care. But you don't have any. If it, but even if it bothered me. Okay. So let me ask you this question mm-hmm. though. Just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I can't have a feelings for uh, yes. my niece or my my whatever. You well, know, no, no. You see what I'm saying? It's d- because your niece goes to whoever they're with. It's different when when you say when if I were to ask you about your kid, if you have a kid, you will have a different feeling about okay. it. Like right. his feeling and my feelings is that's why I sat. If I'm sitting there and my son is with his dude, I'm I'm probably not cool with it. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Right. I'm not going to display that while they're there. Right. I just be like, hey. so my question. I'm trying to think where I. So go let me ask you this question: Since I think you guys me. have kids, why do people then look at you as that? Someone could look at you what you said and go. He's being homophobic when it's not the case. Why can't that's the point I want to make? Why is it that's the problem I'm saying? Why is that a problem when you don't 
agree with it doesn't mean that you don't love love them or care for Because I, I think people don't think there's a, a gray line between homo, being homophobic or just saying, you know, I'm not cool with it. Like, someone can say, I'm not cool with it, and I'm not going to throw no rocks at I'll you. Throw I'm throwing you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. put you out of my house. Right, because right, yeah, because I think <clears throat> try to get it closer to you in the sense of of saying that um, I um, my son and daughter or are, um, gosh, I forgot my thought. Okay, um, <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I, playoffs. How do you, how do you know? talk about Speedy? Don't you do sports? When you just talk about practice, we sitting here. I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. If I wish one of your guys had children, for I could kick them in the fucking head and stomp on their testicles, for you could feel my pain, because that's the pain I have. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass. You won't do shit with me. Oh, we look like the damn bad news bears. In sports. <laughs> oh, that's big. That up, didn't it? That's new for uh, us. Yeah, in sports. Uh, Doc Rivers got a new job. Oh, How? Not the yes. Doc Rivers. How does he keep He wasn't job? on the mic, what, a month? A month. Yeah. So tell and, us who's he coaching now? Uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Now, they fired that coach. They fired the brother. Wait. Even though on every show, and they said he, he shouldn't have been fired. Which, you know, he still got five. He was 30 and was 16 thir- or no. 30 and 13. He's 31 and 13. Yeah. But they don't play no defense. And the teams in front of them, you got Philly, who's balling. I don't know mm-hmm. if you've seen the play. Yeah. Your boy ball. 70, yeah. 70. I, I still wish they would have got, oh boy, that the Knicks picked up. They would they would have been set. But they would have they would have had to give up uh Bronson, you talking about? No, no, the, the not Knicks, uh that um, Are you talking about Rose for Miami Heat? No, no, the no. Guard? Uh my man, he went to who picked? Oh, the Knicks picked him up. Yeah, from from uh, um, Toronto. The power forward. They oh, traded somebody, Yeah, yeah, somebody did Yeah, so out. he should have went to Philly, but he didn't. Anyway, so you got Philly. You got, you're not going to beat Boston. Just not going to happen. Mm-hmm. So Milwaukee got action with that coach, with, with Doc Rivers. I just – it's it's a gauntlet coming out the East. It's, it's going to be too hard. I think they didn't like – Giannis didn't like the coach. No, no, he, he approved the coach. Yeah, and but, then, but he didn't like where they're going. They don't play no defense. But he didn't like it or the ownership? Because you're 31. Come on, you're a coach. 31 to 13 and you get fired? I mean, like, yeah, you, but, but, you're but you But you're 26 in defense. But you're still winning. Don't matter. You're not going to win. But you're not going to win a chip. Okay, but you never really. You're not going to win a chip. True. But, Speedy, when have you really ever heard of a coach get fired in the beginning of the season just because the team doesn't uh, play defense? Cleveland. No, because they don't play defense, but they got a winning that. record. Cleveland. When they fired, when LeBron pretty much said, hey, man. But they didn't have a that white dude, black. Remember, that? and then they and they put. He, uh, no, but he finished the season out. No, he did not. Lou stepped in and finished the season out. But what was the record? I don't. know. Okay, I'm just saying it's weird. I'm, isn't that weird to you? Well, hey, it's, it's sports is weird to me. That's yeah. why I coach high school. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, the Chargers got a new coach. Yeah, yeah. they got uh, good. Which, I'm happy they got him. Yeah, that, so that's we, good. So pickup. my buck guys can go back to winning because we was not beating Man, Harbaugh. Yeah, yeah, you were. We was beating Harbaugh. Yeah, and it's so weird that. So he's back with the team he actually came in with, the Chargers. As a quarterback. In, as a quarterback, yeah. So He was actually, people don't, because. He's a he, decent quarterback. He was pretty, but when he was in Baltimore, he was pretty good. He, was he took him to the playoffs. They lost to Pittsburgh, he's but. He's a, yeah. He wasn't. Okay. He wasn't so what do you think, though? It's a good pick. It, 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 that's what they needed. They needed a coach like that. And that's, I, the other coach guy probably shouldn't have been there. He's a white boy, so they, get, they always Do you think they got him because he can help out? The quarterback yes. for the okay yes. Yeah. yes and and he got some recruits coming from Michigan he can he'll tell them who to draft you mean, right uh what's what's what come son is at Michigan um not Jerry Rice Jerry Rice son's at uh, USC yeah he's gonna be nice in the league he's oh, real he's nice gonna be, oh yeah he's gonna be nice uh, six four he's gonna be nice yeah football it that was football no what about the yeah. playoffs basketball. coming up the playoffs coming up Play, this the week. playoffs this Baltimore week. against the Chiefs <laughs> Lions against the uh, Niners. Well, we hope the Chiefs I have, fans. I have the nine. I have. Uh, I have uh, 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 Detroit going to the Super Bowl. So you got Detroit beating San Francisco. Yes. Well, how because can, oh, oh boy's hurt. Who the running back? Oh, he's uh, deep. Dave, Debo. De- Debo's hurt. Well, he's the wide receiver. He plays well. Like the, yeah. I well, say. he's uh, not wide receiver. Is it uh, Debo? No, you're right. He's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. He they, he's questionable. But if he doesn't play, Detroit got a good defense. A really good yeah. defense. I and, just and hope anybody good. but. Kansas City. I can't. I just and let don't me throw this number out. So the game with Kansas City and the Frozen Dudes. Uh, <laughs> frozen Thunder. 80 million people watched that game. 
or somewhere around this 50, 80. But the number was crazy who watched that, that watched that football the game. The Buffalo Kansas City game. Yes. Yeah, that was a good game, though. And and because of that, now the NBA got to step up. They got to find a way because that's some hell of a numbers. That's some, and that's why, for those who don't know, football is a year round sport. Do you guys know that? Mm hmm. It's almost like baseball. You know, baseball, at the end of baseball, they kind of drag out the awards to mm -hmm. make it last. Football don't have to do that because they automatically, as soon as the season starts, you start thinking about who's going to get drafted. Right. Right. Okay. Who and once gonna, you go through the draft, then, then you got this. You then got you the go right off, into the you Right. Go, the train, like yep, the training that training, is. Yeah. So requirements and unrequired. NFL yeah. got it right. And, and then everybody was hating that NBC. Well, that was a bad move. No, no, no. Pay. I thought when thirty million Peacock. people, thirty million people paid to see that. Yeah, but that's the for them. It's good, but what's thirty the, million paid yeah, but five dollars. Yeah, but think how much money thirty people, thirty million people paid five. But it ain't gonna be five dollars after a while. That, but that doesn't matter. We have to test the waters. You put five dollars out to see if they bite, and so they you bit. So, I thought it was horrible that they did that. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So that's what I want to know. Yeah. Because I'm against, I mean, yeah, come I on, you're taking away from people that don't have cable. I mean, God damn. And they're, uh, for those who don't know, if you like uh, MMA, uh, they're bringing uh, to Netflix. Not MMA, uh, wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. It's going to Netflix. Now, real wrestling? Mm hmm. And Something like college wrestling? It, no, no. No. The w <clears throat> WWE. That's not, yeah. is that real wrestling, though? It's real money. Okay. And, and for them to go boxing. on Netflix, it's crazy because it's it's a streaming service. Yeah, yeah. It's not live television, but it is now. And also boxing, they're bringing that. Yeah. You know. Uh, oh, are they? Yeah. Um, PM, uh, what's his name? The guy with Sam Watson, his dude. They got a, They just signed a big deal. I think it's either it's one of the streaming services, but it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Sam Watson's been good to the comedian world. Yeah, shout out, Sam. Sam. Big yeah. shout out, to Sam. He's yeah, that's always my guy. been a nice guy. I keep losing him to him in softball. Fuck. Late. So okay. uh, it's obvious that uh, sports is not what we do. Um, yeah, I did pretty good. No, you did. To, to throw you in there, you did. I'm Lewis Dix. <laughs> I'm Speedy. Dan and Green. And uh, is, on, it, is it over? What? No. no. Watching oh. the show, I'm sure, is Pickles. We have uh, <laughs> we have been. It's like we... Dan and Green spits the truth, ideas, and stories. I hate y'all. I hate the you spit. guys. <laughs> got a show Dan called Green. Dan and Green. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, thank you. Y'all are the worst friends you, ever. I know, but I have to deal with it. Wait, I got to shout out um, the fan who put that together. They took my voice and put it to water. Oh, somebody did? <laughs> uh, who's the fan? To, who, who did it? Hold on, I'm sorry. It's they called Dead and Spits. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. Let me play it again. Dan and Green Spits. The truth, ideas, and stories. The Spit. With Dan and Green. Is that the spit on the end? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best show I've ever been on in my life. I can accept life. it, yes. First of all, I want to give a shout out. I Pickles? Sent, I sent Poe this a picture. Give a shout out to the Who? to the bro, George Clinton. Brand, Brandon did it, I'm oh. sorry. Brandon put together. Thank you, Brandon. Um, give a shout out to George Clinton. The George Clinton? The George Clinton. I gave her a picture. Yeah, uh, five minutes ago. I know. I, no, I know. I just said okay, you. I, know. Yeah. I met George, which was Dang. weird. Um, we'll give a shout out. He got a star on the um, you know how that works. Walk, Walk of Fame. fame. So you know he, how that works. And he's a bro. Yeah. So rude to the bro. No, do you know how it works to get a star? You got to petition for it and pay no, for it. No, I don't it, And right? pay for it. Yeah. 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 30 much? It's 50 No, I thought it was 50 It's up now. Yeah. It was 30 Yeah, it was 50 <laughs> Yep. So um, big shout, shout out, out to him. George. Yeah, yeah, shout out to George. He should have been got it. Um, I sent Poe to some... Uh, videos. Videos. So you can play up to when I, I comment on it. This way mm. I want to No, you it. when you spit on it. Go ahead. <laughs> comment on it. We're okay, gonna, so we're gonna the do first it, do it one... right, nigga. You gotta say when I spit on it, you comment on it. <laughs> when the I spit on it, you go ahead. About the engagement, right? Yes. And cut it with You're me. engaged, so mm -hmm. Oh yeah, can you guys zoom in on the in engagement ring? Should I like turn it to the Yeah, camera? turn it to okay. the should I go like this or should yes. I go like this? An engaged queen. Thank you. Okay. Period. Period. It was a ninety thousand dollar engagement ring. It's yeah, yeah, it's a ninety thousand dollar That's engagement Tiffany's. ring from Tiffany's. Listen, okay, okay. So I know you guys couldn't see the ring that well in the um, video because it was kind of blurry, but I just wanted to show you guys my engagement ring. It is um, two point seven seven carats from Tiffany's. It's really gorgeous, and I Come really on, like it a lot. So I made a comment. I did a a, a reaction video to that. But my question, also I want to talk to the people about is, why does it seem to be so important to women, one, mm. to the price of the ring? And if you see this, 
not one time did she say, you know, I'm happy to be engaged. You know, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm, I'm in love to marry this dude. Like it, it was all okay. about. The, uh, I'm go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. It was all about the ring. And then when she showed the ring the second time she came back, you notice when she showed the ring, she showed it in front of that very expensive purse. So it was all about the finances. I'm thinking, I just want to know why do women, why is that so important? And why are they seem like to take away the, yeah, you, you know, you, know, you the can't ask no dudes why, but go ahead. Well, no, I'm just, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so that was a snippet of the interview. So I don't know if she somewhere else in the interview may have talked about her relationship. Um, but it, and then we don't know if the husband has it like that. Yeah, he may not want. But it. I recently yeah. saw um, something. I don't know if it was on TikTok or not. But the guy asked his fiance. Did she want a fifteen thousand dollar ring, or did, did, or did, or should he put it toward a house? Hmm. And she put, said, "Put it down on a house," you hmm. know, which makes more sense depending on if you have it like that Especially or not. When you get to divorce. Mm-hmm. But I'm just, I, I wanted to show that <laughs> it's because it just seems like it was more emphasis on the ring than what the relationship should be, and that's what I was <laughs> wanting. Seemed like clip. a lot of. In that clip. Well, that's the clip I'm showing, yeah. Yeah, so So, I I would like to see the whole interview. Did you get your girl a ring? Y'all get engaged? You get engaged? When I I was engaged before? Yeah. Yeah. And she showed it off to her friends, right? Yep. $10 ring. $10 $10 ring. Did you get it back? Nope. How much you spend? Should have got a house. I, it was. It was. It was when I was engaged to Tracy. What? I was just leaving. I mean, it that. not, what's that mean? No, 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 no. That make even, a different price? No, I just not, not gonna make a, make a comment on it. But Tracy didn't give it back. No, she kept it. Mm. She with another dude now, right? Well, she was. She just finished her third marriage. But go to the next one. She, she got three, right, three rings. So, <laughs> here's, the, here's Dan's. Should have gave her a house. Oh, you nigga. Got it back. Here's Dan's next video. Yo. You took the garbage out already? That's not where you're going to talk to me. Red flag. What do you do? Uh, you took the garbage out? What the hell is it? All right, all right, red flag. Asking you a question. Red flag. What is bugging? Babe, excuse me. Have you taken the garbage out? I will, honey. Because you are, you are the reason why I'm still. I missed it. Okay, so, so you what? What it was is she came up and asked him, "Did he take the trash out the first three times in a rude manner?" That's why he said the red flag. So if you watch soccer, if you do something wrong, they give you the red flag. Whoa. Well, you, you, you know where the red wrong. flag was for me? It was her dragging her feet, I'm, picking her feet up. <laughs> you know what? We got to stop hanging out. I, that kept, I, that I, was, I was like, like pick you your goddamn pick feet, feet up, yeah. woman. Shit. I mean, okay. dragging her feet. So, I'm like, come on. So, but, so, but I want to ask the pe- you guys, because the question is to you guys is like, do you, and this is really preferably, but emphasis, have emphasis on how your woman asks you to do things. So... If your woman comes up to you and says, "Hey, Speedy, did you take out the trash?" or "Baby, did you do this?" I probably won't move. Okay, so like, like so, that, I ain't so move. that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I wanted to, you know. That's I don't have that because Code Three is not like that. To be honest, she's just so sweet and, and she she's all about team play and okay. Yeah, but and if I, she no, wasn't, no, no. Wait, had wait. I not met her, I couldn't co-sign. She no no, I, no I'm, I'm co-sign. She's the most terrific. I said I wanted to hate so bad and go, "Why are you with Lewis?" <laughs> You could do better. And, and, but I, I'm she's with you. Fantastic, but she, but bro. here's the she is. here's the thing. I would have already taken the trash out. Hmm. Okay. See, but here's I the mean, thing, though. If right. it doesn't mean just the trash, I'm just just in general. And you obviously you said Code Three doesn't speak like that. But like Speedy said, if a woman in a relationship would come up and speak with you in a certain manner, would you? I won't say red flag, but would you like, correct it before you move? I didn't or think not? that. See, to me, if someone people are around and you come to me like that, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you should. But if we just in the room, you go, hey, did you take the trash out? No, I'll do it in a few minutes. I'm not tripping like that. Right. It's if you do that in front of someone. See, what I yeah. found interesting was, and I said it, it took her three times before she get the fourth time correct. Well, they would do for it. him. They were it doing was a sketch. sketch. I know it was. A, <laughs> 
Come Thank on. you. Oh, Lord, you know what? See, I never do that. Brilliant minds. We all skip. said the same thing. We went, it's we, a skip. We know it's a skip, but yeah. I'm just trying you? To, to give it to the... Because right. you told me to wait uh, till the end. Nigga. Now, now, here's the thing. I, I but also, I'm with you, Lewis. He <sighs> should have already... And But this is another thing I do. Whenever Code 3 does come at me a certain way, mm. I say, oh, you just want to kiss. Mm. Oh, you're just trying to get a kiss out of me. <laughs> So that's my way of diffusing the whole thing. Is like, and then she Aww. gets it. Oh, she gets it. She gets that. It's not going to be an argument. She we, is, my thing is, we're I just. Don't know how you we're we're at a point. I think once Look, you reach a certain age. Do you understand? What? I was so I went to the all white party first time going, and I've been knowing what's coming on. For, there were a lot of white women there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wish I had a flag. That's what I need a flag. <laughs> Maybe you could have been out the game. Uh, so I went to Roland's all, and I was knowing Roland for years, and I've been God maybe rest twice. God rest yeah. his soul. And no. but I hadn't been in a while, and I went, and and she let me sit at her table. She said, oh, "You can hang out with me." Lewis is not here yet, so we. I just hung out. It was like we were dating for you know, just for a few minutes. Yeah. You got there. Yeah. Then Lou came, and I gave it back to you. But <laughs> she was just so fucking cool, and I kept she, going. She's a very nice person. What did Lewis? Well, she's got, got a Lewis most sticks. people are nice. They got a Glock, but she supports Dan and she goes to all of his shows. Impossible. Yes, she goes to all of my shows. She got that flyer was on the nightstand, and I threw it away. Put it in trash. Oh, all day long. <laughs> Took the trash out with it. Yeah, <laughs> spent money on that so flyer. Gone, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. No, but she had to take a picture. So the last thing I want to say, if I could, I just want to ask a question. Uh, did you? What was you guys' opinion on Dave Chappelle's comments at the Improv the other night? Oh, well, I, I, I didn't hear it. What, what was, what well, you know, he was kind of speaking about the situation with Cat, and he had he was against the situation. He didn't like how Cat handled it, and then oh, D Ray, D Ray. No, I just want to get so. I, I, no, I said the, the same day, thing. We want to get on Cat, but I'm saying, what do you feel about? I, Dave's I said comments? the same thing. I said okay. what Cat said about uh, uh, what's coming is absolutely true, but I felt like you're bringing down black men. You're bringing them down when they are already they success successful in a sense. Uh, the shit about uh, uh, nigga with the with the hair piece missing. Everybody knew he was an asshole. I I knew he was an asshole. Uh, me and Fox are going to we go to I think it's uh, Warner Brothers, one of the studios. Fox calls me, hey man, we're gonna pitch this show for uh, for um, what's his name? Steve. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. I said, okay, cool. We get there, we go in, we pitch the show, and they went, okay, cool. And as we're leaving, we go back to the car. We find out, we get a call like 10 minutes later, Said they said Steve Harvey just doubled back in and pitched another show to them without us. And Fox is like, wait a minute, nigga, I got you on the lot. Mm. I get you on the lot and you go back in? Yeah. And, and pitch. So we already knew that about Steve. Was Guy Tory with him? Hilarious. No, okay. uh, <laughs> and then I told a story, we're, we're doing uh, Essence. Okay. And this is the, the when Luther died. So people are going to stay singing Luther songs. And um, so Steve is hosting. I'm in the back, me, Fox, and um, Gerald Levert. And we're in the green room chilling, and uh, Usher is doing a loser song, and Steve is going 50. This motherfucker can't do the goddamn song. Why they let this young motherfucker? He's just going 5150 back in the green room. We're all like, goddamn. He, Usher comes off, and Steve goes to him, my man, great job. We love, and we all look at each other like, you got to be fucking kidding me. And now, that, but that's Steve Harvey. So, in general, but what about Dave Chappelle? What was your feelings on him? What he was saying? And that's what I just said. I'm saying that I felt the same way. I just didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't like the fact he was bringing down. I, I see what you said. All of the okay. other brothers. What about you, Lou? It's, 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 uh, like I said, I'm gonna. Ref- I wish Pickles was on the phone. I'd ask Mr. Brown's opinion, but I, I, I'm gonna. You know, I, I just. You know, I mean, I, I don't. <clears throat> okay. Well, yeah, I figured I, I, no. some of us were comedians. I thought you might want to talk about it. No, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it, I, I've thought of my answer in the sense of if, because I always think of answers if I ever get interviewed mm-hmm. or something like mm-hmm. that. So I think of if someone's going to say something like me, I would like, wow, thank you. I didn't know I, I did that. I, mm-hmm. would, I would go the opposite way. Mm. If if I was if Cat had talked about me and I was I would say oh man thank you Cat I didn't know I did that man I'm gonna mm. work on myself mm. or you know I'm praying on myself I'd I'd go the opposite way I wouldn't See, battle it I <laughs> thought it was weird when motherfuckers was coming on um, Bill Bellamy was coming on their thing going well Cat asked me to go to eat 
You know, right. and, oh, you I want, saw that and you and I'm like, movie. what the fuck? Yeah, so I was in the car. I just, I just killed in the club, and my boy was with me, Pickles. So me and Pickles in the car, <laughs> and uh, Cat Williams came by and said, "Hey, brother, are you guys a little parched?" Right. And I'm like, "Nigga, why are you kowtowing to Cat Williams?" Right. It's it is fun. Now, <laughs> shout out to J. Anthony Brown. Jay texted me the next day a with picture. a picture. He texted yes. me too. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Week, I guess I'm good." <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm Fell out yeah, no, I mean, you know, in comics, the way we look at things, too, is like, give us some meat to, to eat off of. You know, if you're going to talk about talk about me, we, we all would have rolled with it our, in our own way. Yeah, yeah. And my thing is, I think, you know, I, I feel like we're at an age, if you reach a certain age, you should be able to handle things differently. Yeah. So in your own creative way. And we know we got to sell tickets. So yeah. Hey, yeah. And in your own I creative way. Do. So, and that, that's the whole thing. Well, thank you. That's it. That's it? Okay. So um, do you have an end? Do you, like, spit at the end? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't play. Have, you I should don't do it. Well, you did have one more video. Okay, did I didn't you know if you. Want, I didn't want to know if you wanted to play it or not. That's why. Yeah, let's play. It's it. Okay, we yeah, have time. She would have told you no. Yeah. Okay, well let's make sure. We would have told you no. No, no, no. <laughs> he would have told me no. Shout out to Lou. I don't know how I feel about this video, uh -oh. but what is it about? Yes, oh, it is your yeah. body mm -hmm. and your choice, but I hope you remember those words when it comes back to bite you. Let's talk about how so many women in today's day and age almost have one thing in common, ignorance. I mean, you guys are completely oblivious that this world is playing games on you and you don't want to listen because your eyes, your ears, and your mind are not trained to handle the truth. You shrivel up like clams and call me a pygmy when I'm just trying to help women out. Watch what you do on social media. Everyone's selling their bodies for less than a Netflix subscription to say that they know their worth, but when once you realize that all these women are oversaturating the sex market, people will get tired of you. You're purposeless. The only thing that you have to offer is something that you claim to not want people to take advantage of. Yet you showcase it like a recycled piece of art on the Okay, what is it? What, what's the video about? Uh, I haven't seen this. So this was a video. I, I knew that some women would have problems with this is why I showed it. A lot of women, and I've said it before, are promoting their bodies, promoting, selling their bodies on social media. But then when you make a comment about it, they seem to have a problem with it. What so did if you, you say? I'm, I'm not saying maybe. Well, well, you can just read. Well, a lot of it's in there. But if you say, if someone's reading, say, well, sweetie, that's a young lady. That's all you have to offer is your body. Or if they say something like, well, only God can judge me. Like, but why are you saying that? But you got your breasts and your ass out. You're talking so, about the ones that do like the shake video. Well, just all. And just, she's talking about all videos. and Not videos, but just in terms of the pictures and got selling it. sex. Okay. So a lot of times if a man says that, you're being misogynist, you're being, you know what I mean? It's like you're going against women. But here's, I wanted to show this because this is what some women think about how women are presenting themselves on social media. So your question is? It wasn't a question. It was just, oh. you know, just so. But I will ask POTUS, why do you have a problem? You know, I, how, I mean, not, you said you just said. No, you, you got a problem with That's what you said. You did. You did just say. You didn't know how I you felt about it. Right. Okay. So, no, I didn't say I had a problem with it, though. But what do you, you said, you you said. I mean, I agree to some degree. Of what she was saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I didn't say I had a problem no, with it. No, you just said, I, 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 I don't know how I feel I about this video. I didn't know how I, so does that mean I have a problem with it? Uh, it must mean something. It means I don't even know how to articulate how I feel about it, okay? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck are they yelling? Hey. Hey. She's amazing. Everybody got a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Fuck, I hate hold this up, show. Hold up, hold up. I told you he is not. I haven't heard from him, and until he calls and apologizes. What, what, okay, what is this segment about? Nothing. Use a gangster shit. Doesn't send yeah. videos, but yeah. my thing is the only problem. He hasn't been here in two weeks, so he oh. texted you and told you what. I haven't Play heard the from videos? him. He told me he was in D.C. doing what and that working and that his plane doesn't land till ten o'clock tonight. Okay, let's do the show at ten. <laughs> All right. So he's is that him saying so he's still coming he's still a part of this show? <laughs> yes. All right. I have to think about that. Oh. No, go ahead okay. and play a segment. Go All ahead. right. Go so ahead, play a segment. Play his video. He sent this video in mm. saying this. And he's not here. <laughs> cool, let's do it. Fuck. This is code three beating up Lewis. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who recorded this? <laughs> Nigga. That was first of all. Now, that's a skit. Now, first of all, it, it, that's more like TWA beating him up. Not <laughs> um, first of all, Code Three don't have to do that because all she has to do is grab your pressure point. 
or and pull out her gun. Yes, yeah, she has. Is she she a knows cop? how to. Yeah, she's yeah, she's been a cop for twenty five years. Oh, like yeah. LAPD. Yeah, she's a detective actually. So she's plain clothes. So that's what why I call the code three. You didn't. I, you couldn't. Can, you cannot tell, can you? No. I but didn't. when she strapped that you know, all that on, because she. I how'd asked you her meet one her? Day, huh? How'd you meet her? He's getting arrested. I, no, I, I met her. <laughs> I met her at Pips. Shut up. Pips? I met her at Pips. Oh, okay. I, I, I she. Um, Louis, you should play the lottery because you won, nigga. I'm she, about to tell she was telling me. I was and asking her about how they do that, the pressure points, yeah. and she showed me. And I was like, oh, Lord. she. And you fell in love with. her? No, I, 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 I she had on the red dress. I'll never forget that. She red. Was, um, but she was just so Black sweet. Pantyhose. My mom, my family loves her. Oh, okay, so, um, all right, and that was what he said? <laughs> that's that's, it? That, see, that's what I, see, that's how it all started. <laughs> that's his comedy. And he's better than that. And my, you've known him. Isn't he better than that? Maybe that's him beating you. Maybe he's projecting. Look, forward, look. Uh, <laughs> a little he, female, female I told pride. you, nigga, when he come down court, it, you know, his eye. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get Everybody crossed. was like this, nigga. I don't know who he throwing it to, but I'm ready. Yo, fuck. Every time, every, you understand, even if a nigga play a defense, like, let me put my hands <laughs> Yeah, he, he had a serious crossover. <laughs> oh, my God. He had a cross-eyed yeah, crossover. I, know Jeff Ooh, I love him. I love my boy. Do I, you? I, and Yeah, I do. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's coming. I, I hope he's, if that's what he's, I'm not a. He's did he send another one, or this is it? Um, He did send another one. Uh-oh. All right, let's see if he do better. better. He do better. I believe. That was that free throw. Was 2024, oh, yeah, and this sorry. is what happens when you stop paying bills for a girl. I just got off work. I come to my car, and this is what I find. What then that? she left a note on the back of my car. Look at this. Since you won't pay my bills, pay for your window. Ooh, period. Right. So this is a little bit of the backstory. This is what happened. You feel me? She hit me up yesterday, right? And she was like, oh, uh, I need you to pay my phone bill. I need you to pay my rent. I need you to pay all this stuff. I told her I ain't paying your bills no more. Find somebody else to do it. And the reason why I cut her off and stopped telling her I'm going to pay her bills is because every time I text her phone and I call her phone, she always treating me like I'm an option. She don't never respond to my calls. She don't never text me back in a reasonable amount of time. So I say, man, it's 2024. We ain't doing that this year. You ain't for the well, we know he's at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> that Definitely we do the airport. Thank you. Uh, well, I, that's better. That's ten times better, Jeff. Well, well, here's the thing. Are we supposed to comment? What, what is? It? Yeah, yeah, you comment. On okay, it. Got it, got it. Yeah. Well, I saw the video, and the full video was at the end. He goes, "Yeah, but I'm still doing my thing," and he pulls out all of these hundreds. So. I guess he's letting her know, yeah, you broke my window, but it ain't no bigger than me. Yeah, so. but he was a sucker to be in again with. Yeah. In fact, you call it, yeah, if I call, if I'm paying bills and I, you don't answer my call, just, just cut her off. Yeah, yeah, you ain't got, I ain't got to and tell you. And what if she busts your window out, though? Well, evidently, he doesn't work at the airport because she wouldn't be able to get to his vehicle yeah. at the airport like that. Yeah. So, uh, so, I mean, what's that? But safe he knew, flight, he knew, flight. <laughs> alert. He knew the type of woman he was dating. Yeah, he she knew was she was cray cray. He was yeah, down with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that and that's I mean that's no surprise. All right, to question: guys. Is she black or white? Black. Oh yeah, she's black. Definitely. Black. White women would never do that. She wouldn't bust the window. She would took me to court or told the police I hit her. <laughs> I know. Dan, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Dan, yeah, you, yeah, Dan, you going to jail? They typed it right I, I, now. I, 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 you you know, to jail, hey, what did I just do? I just hit Lou in the leg like that. Like, what's this? The white women would never do that because well, you, well, you know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. 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 He's an expert. Y'all talking about me? This guy was married. All right, just, okay. put it, just put everything out there. Yeah, oh, my bad. we're here now. <laughs> Shout out to Pickles. Uh, <laughs> hey, so all right, so thank you, uh, Jeff. Um, Jeff, <laughs> and I hope your uh, you you your flight gets in safe. You travel. I hope the safely. door don't come off. <laughs> what a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you know they finna get paid. Oh, all of them over a million dollars yeah. a piece. What the, uh, the people that were on the plane when the door came off? Yeah, they already got really? lawsuits oh, going. Man, come on, man. You go. You supposed to go straight to your therapist, Psycho, like, yes, like you. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. you. Go straight to the therapist. I can't stand by a window no more. I, I can't do it. I can't wow. even walk. Yeah. Wow. So, Everybody getting paid. Uh, good. For, well, as long as it landed safely, that's where I am. I don't like flying. I don't like. I just want to. I like being cement on the cement on the ground. So what do you do when you have to fly? I I just get on and go. Oh. I mean, I gotta go. So you gotta go. you never flown with uh, my boy Tyron Turner? No. Why? So, so Tyron don't like to fly, and I've told the story before. Tyron don't like to, but I at the time I didn't know we were on the flight and we're going, and we're doing one of the tours, and Tyron sat next to me, 
And again, I didn't know he didn't like to fly, but he kept snuggling in as we were about to take off. And I'm like, hey, and I wanted to go, hey, nigga, slide off. And and next thing I knew, he was up under me at, when the plane started to take off. And I said, Todd, you good? He's like, nah, bro, just let me just chill right here for a minute. And he, hey, How was your flight? The menace from society? Yeah. He, can't, he, don't he had like a cozy fly. flight. He don't like to fly. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Uh, yeah. So listen, um, I'm Lewis Dix. Speedy. Dan Green. And uh, we, of course you were Miss TDP. And shout out to my boy Pickles. Yeah, I told he said don't call him that no more. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Okay, so um Brown we got our Jet Beauty of the Week. Hmm? Ooh, let's see who we got um, this week. She's your <laughs> Oh boy. You niggas is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay for that. Oh, I know that the the singer. Oh, who's the actor? <laughs> it's the actor that sung that. I got, and someone t- pointed out who it was, but go ahead. All right, Put here's our Jet Beauty of the Week, Lewis. That is, mm. uh, that is uh, sexy, sexy Pamela Brown. Mm. Measurements of 37, 25, 39. Mm. She was an editor for a Chicago firm. Who enjoys cares? horseback riding, <laughs> dancing, and modeling. That's so is this the Jet now, or are you talking about back in the day? <laughs> back, we had back in the day yeah, ones. This, this looks like... Say. We're trying to guess. This is a back in the day one. Cause this uh, is 70s, I believe. Yeah, because those yeah. breasts so, look like 70s. If you, yeah, if you and that hairstyle. If 70s. you were born in the 80s, you don't know what the hell we're talking about. Jet Magazine was our Playboy. Yes, it was. It's as close as we was going to get. Yes. And you, we would get the Jet, which was a very small <laughs> pamphlet is what it was. But it was thick back then. That's what she said. And uh, and you would flip to the middle of the page, which mm-hmm. where the stapler was. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that was the Jet. And, and sometimes it was a dime. That's a dime to me. I don't care what nobody said. And, and I think all of them was a dime. No, they all no, no. A majority of them. A couple of them were ruled. No? Nah, ruled. not many. No, no, Lou. Couple, not them, many, couple Lou. of them knew the photographer. Nah, Lou. Most of the Jets' beauties were and, Jets' beauties. And, no, they were, but it was a couple because I've been going through them. Mm. I'm like, Ooh. Well, bring us an ugly one next week. So, yeah, so, I, so I you, have, how'd you find that? You went online? Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, okay. Yeah, I actually have some, some Jet magazines at home. Shut up. Yeah. I went to a little uh, Christmas giveaway where you do a secret Santa, yeah. and mine was the Jet magazine because mm. it was a lot of young people. So hilarious. So, do you know what the word Jet stands for? No, tell me. I don't either. That's why I asked. <laughs> we'll find out. Johnson. I didn't did do no research. I'm figuring it's Johnson. Johnson. But yeah, Jet Mag. So we had Jet magazine, Ebony, and then in Los Angeles, you guys know this. It was the Wave magazine. So Wave, <laughs> in the Sentinel, Wave came out every Thursday. But it had all, think about all the news that's happened until Thursday. So we get the paper on Thursday. King got shot. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the wave. So we had the wave, wave and the Sentinel, and the wave came I in. Remember Thursday. the Sentinel. And Sentinel speaking of King mm-hmm. got, getting uh, shot, um, rest yeah. in peace to Dexter King, who passed away. Yeah, from a heart attack. A few no, years son? ago. Heart attack. It was a son, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. cancer. Oh, yeah, cancer. He was heavy set. Yeah, cancer. Oh, he yeah, cancer. Big dude. He was a big yeah, dude. Yeah, he had fought cancer. Also, a fun fact about Jet Magazine Ulysses Jr. Bridgman. He's a uh, former NBA star. He actually purchased um, Jet Magazine and Ebony Ebony, Ebony Magazine Get for fourteen million in a bid at a Houston Recently? bankruptcy court. He bought it uh, a few years ago. Oh wow! And now the Jet Beauty of the Week, um, they have it to where people can um, upload or submit submit their. Oh, that's dope. Um, Jet pick jet beauty pictures. And they pick one? They get no, actually, um, the person it's digital now. Yeah. It's a di- digital magazine. So people can upload their photo and then superimpose the oh, jet okay, logo cool. on it. That's dope. Which makes yeah. them He jet also beauty purchased uh you know Eddie a- Abrams, the brother that comes down a lot, has those comedy shows from Bay Area. Well anyway, he's got uh Junior uh what's his name again? <laughs> the owner, the guy that owned it. Uh, Johnson. No. Oh no. Bert's, Bert's, uh, Junior Bridgman. Yeah, Bridgman. He just owned. He just uh, purchased this uh, digital comedy platform. So it's going to be all, a lot of comedians. You're going to see it, and they're being interviewed. It's going to mm-hmm. be like a a talk show. And he just put that out. It's coming out soon. With Eddie Abrams played by, played in the NBA. In the yeah, 70s. he played for Detroit Pistons. Yeah, I he brought right over a hundred and something uh, Wendy's, I believe he used to oh, own. Wow. So he's a he's a billionaire. I, or close I, to it. I wanted to, because uh, we were talking earlier about the, the LGBTIA still on that? Re- resource center. And if you have any issues or, you you know, crisis care and support hotline, I want to make sure you go ahead and just uh, reach out to them. 
Hey, so, nigga. Don't you don't do that, Danny. Um, don't touch me, nigga. Right. One, the number is 530 uh, 752 <laughs> <laughs> 530-752-0871. 530-752-0871. You can go off for counseling services. And if anybody's going through anything and you feel like you're being bullied, and, and don't forget the, I guess, what is it? What's the, uh, is the, the one suicide for hotline is yeah. eight? Is it? What is it? I'm looking. Yeah, eight one eight. I don't want to die. No, nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. But if you and you, you just need someone to talk to, and if, you know, please don't call, call me. Lewis. Call Lewis. Don't you call me. Or call Pickles. Yeah, call Pickles. No, call Lewis. Lewis will get you through it. No, no. no I mean, I'll talk to you. you I'll listen a to you. You commercial about the, the gay dudes, and they said it's, it's undetectable. <laughs> if what? He, said, he always says it's undetectable. Oh, the HIV medicine. <laughs> It is the same dude. I am now. I said, that's how. <laughs> and I can't help myself because it's a long ass commercial. And every time they get the dudes running around, he's cooking. He went, mine's is under <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's under, Which I don't understand. Why you want to be undetectable? Like, I want to see a, a blister on your lip. That's oh, my, oh my God, man. Come on now. Listen, just make sure um, you yeah, be, who, be your best self. Yeah, be you. Be, be your you. best self. Do be, you. Your be, be your best if self. If somebody's bullying you, call yeah, kick their ass. Yeah, That's so, what I said. I mean, it, Fight. It's, and we, uh, we'll, we'll check in on our homie uh, TDP. And I, I'm assuming since he sent a video and Jeff, he, he did? said that he, he texted and said he something was going on what with this water? water heater. Yeah. TDP? Yeah. yeah. That's a good excuse. A water heater? We should heater? do that Man, next who week. Who got a water heater? What is the, How old is that house? What, <laughs> what's you know the, they have electronic water well, heaters. Well, we had to replace a water heater in yeah, our... Still, huh? what, you see but the house is old, the old though. House, Not yeah. here. Oh. Yeah, but, old houses have water heaters. But, but yeah. that's I think that should be an interesting topic next week is see what your excuse. <laughs> your best lie? Your best excuse. Your best excuse. Because, I mean, I've killed off at least four grandparents. I had to stop doing it. I didn't Did do you? it. I, I don't like to do that. that. I, I, I've never yeah, done I that. I doing that. Yeah, well, you, of course, you, yours really happened. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, I won't I gave my I, I made my dad sick. I didn't kill him off. Yeah. Um uh my kids I stay away from, but my grandparents, <laughs> oh, they've been every time and, fifteen times. And and it's funny because wh- white people believe it. Oh black people be like, Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, yeah How many yeah, times yeah. your grandmother gonna die? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. said that last week. Yeah. No, that was my other grandmother. So where can everybody follow you, Speedy? Speedy is funny on everything that's Speedy I Z funny on everything. Don't worry, call it on Facebook. They wouldn't have me. It's weird. You no, know, Danny. Danny. Danny Green, 66 Instagram. What's the 66 mean? Yeah, I was born. Hey, I wanted to, I was thinking about Speedy. I was thinking about you and I was thinking about your son. How long has it been since you passed? Uh, 2000. God damn, Lewis. Uh, 2016. No, it's my, um, the kid's mom passed in 16. So 2018. So it's been about four years, six years six now. Six years. So mm-hmm. peace to your heart. When, uh, it, so his birthday, what day is his birthday? December 26th. Wow. December 26th. Wow, so I'm sorry, just, November 26th. So it his, just and passed. And his daughter's uh, November 28th. So do you, what, do, does a feeling come over you? Because I know when my daughter's birthday comes, it's weird. I, I, I don't see it coming, but I feel it. No, nah, it's not birthday. Because I think about him all the time. Because okay. he was my best friend. And we, we talked all the time, just like my other son. Thank you. Appreciate Love that, Mark. God damn. And, and so, it's, so it's when people say they think about their loved ones that they've lost all the time, you think about it? Yeah, all the time. Does it make you, do you laugh sometimes when you think about it? Do you, what, what, where, where, where is your, your I'm emotion? usually chilling, and then I'll go, I wish Donald was here. Like, it was weird the other day. I had to look for my birth certificate, make sure I had it. And I ran across his death certificate. And I thought it was my birth certificate. And I go, I'm looking at it like, guys. Ah, can't be because it's in this envelope and then i looked at it harder and i'm like oh it's the third is on here so it, it is another moment to uh to wish he, i wish he was here mm-hmm. i wish he was here he's it just it was a great kid man he was yeah 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 yeah, yeah so peace to your heart on that day. i was just i was just and i think having donald or nick on the other side when we do the radio show mm-hmm. helps a lot does helps he remind you of does he no they were two totally different dudes like when when donald did was on that side he didn't know to have jokes he just was press play, turn the mics on. <laughs> and I'm waiting for him to tell a joke, but he's like, yeah. I say, what do you think, Donald? I don't know, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Speedy, let me ask you that along these lines. Um, also, um, uh, Screw Roy, 
lost his son and Tony Baker also Mm -hmm. lost his son. Mm -hmm. Have you guys connected in any way? Um, because you have that in common along as being, I don't think people connect like that. I'm just, Mm -hmm. just from, cause I know his son, I Mm -hmm. I hit him up and I hit, uh, what's coming about his son. And I don't think people get around. I mean, I think there's something you see white people do, or you see it on television Mm -hmm. or, or some movie where they're going, so uh, my kid and you got everybody in the room. I, I've never, no one's reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to kick it because our son's passed away or mm. my child is, is gone. We understand what they're going through. With the pain. Is, yeah. Because yeah. oh, so. it's, it's, it's an unexplainable pain. It's not, you can't even, uh, to Imagine. this day, I remember everything I, that happened that day I got the call. Mm. And, wow. it, and, mm. and it was on a Sunday. It's, I have gotten five of those calls all on a Sunday. So it is true that you remember little details everything. that you remember everything. everything that day. I remember how he looked. I went because I had to go see him. So yeah. Mm. yeah. Right, well, peace to your heart, and peace yeah. to the heart of anyone out there that that has lost someone. And and uh, yeah. and we. It's funny, y'all never say peace to my heart. It's all jokes. Well, they weren't really your good. parents. Well, so well, they, you, they, they but I lost parents. <laughs> I'm gonna start going hard. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 oh, that's right. You was a adu- you was found on the porch. No, I wasn't found on the porch. But I was yeah, a foster kid. No, he was. Yeah, he was <laughs> a foster kid. And, and <laughs> you got a lot of pictures by pool table. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm different. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go in on people. I just, I, just you saying, just, I, I ain't say nothing the whole time. No. So you did nobody want you. Huh? Okay, <laughs> so I'll, before we go, we want to thank. Or you can follow you me him? on cool. OG Poetess and Lewis. You are what on uh, Instagram? I, I don't know, Lewis. Dix. Oh, we have a new Dix. in a man's world Instagram. So follow us. What is it? I'll called? put the pictures on there. In oh. a man's world podcast. Okay, and, and okay. tell them again, Dannon. Uh, if you live in L.A., Pasadena, Altadena, San Fernando Valley, February the 10th, we got a pre-Valentine's Day show, Ladies First, All Women's Show. Well, with me I think hosting. I have the flyer. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, that yeah, go, yeah, go to the show, man. If you're a uh, foster kid, you get in free. Don't worry about <laughs> it. It's the last one sold out. <laughs> Code 3 will be there. So we're thank you. Th- thank you, Code 3. Her and her crew. No, Danny, I don't want to do the show. Thank you, bro. I, I, well, that's how this whole thing started. Yeah. I mean, you no, know, he's going to put you on. But Danny thing is, he I'm never put called you on the show. Danny has the, let me say something. There's the flyer thank for you. those who want to do Danny Speedy's hasn't been called. calling me for this cruise he never called me about for years. Oh, the comedy cruise? Yeah, the one you've been telling me you was going to put me on? Never did. But, oh, but I don't least, worry about I it. At least had you in thought. I do, too. I got you in thought. <laughs> No, you got All right, so we want to thank Monterey and Jackie Welch uh, for donating this. Thank week. you, Monterey and Jackie. Oh, Monterey, who? Guys, Monterey. Thank you, Pooley and uh, Jeremy you. from DMV. Thank shout you. Out, thanks, Pooley. Thank you, guys. And shout out to Jeff and TDP. Hopefully, oh, next thir- uh, week is my birthday, so I don't know if I'm gonna be here. But oh, next Thursday is your birthday. Next you 28, Friday. 29. Mm, no. All right. I love your glasses. They run DMC. A bong is 29. 64. Thank you. All right, right, y'all. We'll catch you back. Later.